Nah, we just want, but well, fuck it, whatever. Let's get this shit popping. Yeah. Hey, uh, how much we have? We probably can keep that, but yo, we're going to do this. Um, What's popping? Oh, man. Uh, I did. I'm thinking, well, like, how do I come in? Like, how do I start? How do I come in? Because uh, I don't want to say the name yet, but a, a, a podcast that was, will be named later. We got the name. Well, a podcast name that will be revealed later because we already got the name, right? Yeah. We can't with we, we can't with agree to the name, right? Yeah, I guess we, we could we could probably throw two more in there. We can't I like that name. What? Really, nigga? Yeah, the name Yo, is why? good. You're just a nigga that has to be difficult all the time. I mean, if we're going to marry it, we got to make sure, you feel me, it's super dope. Uh, I think that's dope, I think though. Options Yo, you a commitment dope. phobe, yo. I see that's a yeah. problem right now. I like that name, though. <laughs> then keep the fucking name, Jay. So that's Mr. Keep J name. Hill Network. It doesn't matter so we gonna the fuck I want. Fucking, uh, are we going to start at one or like? Hell yeah, nigga. Damn, no, I don't oh, think that we hurts. should start at one. You want to start at one? We got to start at one. All right, let's start at no, negative we'll, three. How about that? So we don't have a negative choice. Negative three, two, one, and then one. One, and one. Oh, man. That would be dope. Starting at zero. Episode zero? Yeah, episode zero. Does that make you feel better now? This hurts my really heart. not number anymore, stars. Bro, this hurts my heart. Why? I just went... <laughs> you just did, you just did some jail I mean, time. The last episode was sixty nine. I mean, you know, right into the freaky dicky man cave. Damn, <laughs> yo, the gang is in the building. Shout out to uh, Gio the Leo is here. Taz is here. Lante is here. Um, Ruh. yeah, the gang is here. Yo, what's up, yeah. fellas? How we? Yo, you said we talking about what are we talking about today? Are we talking about man code today. What, what, man what, code I, today. what made you want to talk about that shit? Cause, cause. Niggas, bro. And they, all right, me being out in the world, living my mm. life, because I'm, I'm trying to be vague, because I ain't trying to put niggas on black. Fuck niggas. Fact. Says stars. Yeah. Fact. The security Audio cat. I mean, the, the, the problem is you're right. And I'm glad we talked about that today, because I didn't know it, and now I know it. And let me tell you something. Y'all niggas got to stop pillow talking. I'm sick of it. Stop telling, stop talking, stop agreeing, you, stop doing all I that shit you, with bro. bitches to try to get some you, pussy. Bro. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. My beef ain't got nothing to do with that, but I'm so happy wait, you wait. brought I'm that I'm glad you said that, because my beef ain't got nothing to do with that, but like, Fuck pillow talking, trying to get pussy. Yo, your man's gotta stop pillow talking with your bitches, bro. Period. Like, bro. Wait a minute. Your yeah. Man gotta stop yeah, I don't fuck with that. So it's funny that you said that. <laughs> you said that. You, I, I ain't, That's I ain't say. Crazy. I just want, I just want niggas to know. I ain't. Wait a minute. Like, with your bitch, bro. I ain't make this pot. A nigga pillow talk with your bitch. I, listen, I ain't make oh, this topic, still don't bro. Get the pussy. I asked you. What you wanted to talk no, about? No, no, you no. brought it I'm, in. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. saying I ain't start the topic, so I want nobody listening. Like, yo, no, that's no, no. It. This was me. I was talking about man code because I was. I'm talking about outside of relationships. There's just shit that dudes, as men, as we interact, there's a respect level. There's lines that shouldn't be crossed. Right. There's just things that we should learn how well, let, to do. Well, well, give us some examples so the so like, the world can let know. Let me what's give y'all basic man code. Like, okay. and, and this is human nature live code. If you a small nigga and you stand next to a big nigga, you don't start putting your finger in no big nigga face and talking wild and crazy. There's a respect level that you show because you know this nigga will punch your ass in the fucking face or he stomp your ass out. That's that Wait, and, and I, we've established that as just kind of like a respect between men is a respect. And then with that comes the code of conduct, meaning you don't pillow talk. Number two, like, yo, keeping your word. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. You know what I'm saying? Number three, like, yo, standing on your own two feet. You ain't living off nobody. You're not expecting niggas to carry you all of the time or put out, pull out money out of their pocket to pay for your shit. You a man. You should never be comfortable with another man no, spending. No, unless it's on no. some love. But I don't this think shit that... getting scary out here with the group, with the men groupies too, yo. And like, yeah. even worse, All bro. this shit with the man code is real. Jam, I'm gonna I don't up. think that's... What you talking about? I don't think that's man code, but it. it, it How was that not man code? Not the first I'm, thing you said. No, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I think it's just some man, just some respect shit. Like honestly, because I feel like man code is the code between men against somebody else or or, or, or against. Man code is is, nah. is an oath with, uh, that men know of. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You feel me? Like not a respect. I think what you're saying is respect. Like don't like stand like standing on your own. You get what I'm saying? Like uh, not depending on a nigga to take care. You not not putting a nigga your face that's, your finger the in the face. The old school man. That's the old school man. I don't think that's the old that's, school man. That's man no, code. no, no, that's man code that we want to be fuck. now, but See, it was respected where, way that's more. That's where we got a problem. It was because real, that no, no. to me, ain't no difference between old school man code and new school man code. code. It's man just code. man code, my nigga. Right. It and is, but it is a difference women because are the new allowed niggas to be leaning on other people and doing dumb shit, being emotional that's not and all that. Either. That's but not how men supposed to conduct themselves. As far as men, like like he's saying, what you understand is, I'm not saying it's cool what's going on now with the new niggas. I'm just saying we have a new. Generation of niggas, and that's what I fucking hate, bro. I mean, of I course hate you would. that. But we were brought up with, as you said, men act like men, and and, and realistically, even the conversation we have about like taking women on dates and all this and going Dutch, like that shit, that shit 
foreign to a real man, honestly. I'm not you doing that shit. I feel like I'm when it kind of, I feel like when it kind of man code, I think like again, for me it would be like, yo, I don't know, like, see, I just see, it's, it's hard for me to have this conversation because this shit just hit home for real, like for I real. Feel, you nah, feel me? Like, speak on it, my so nigga. So nah, nah, I nah, will speak on it. So not like my man, nah, but, but I'm saying I will. You know, bro, niggas know what's up with me. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> niggas know what's up with me. I, I can't apply. You feel me? So like, I feel like one of my mans had uh, took. My shorty out or whatever. We was beefing right. or whatever. We wasn't even together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And his shorty wasn't with him. You feel me? Like, and it was it was my shorty, her friend, and her other friend. You feel me? Mm. And like, bro, like, don't go pick up my bitch to go do anything. If we beefing, it's supposed to be. You feel me? Like, if 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 if, if your girl called me, yeah, it's even dead. If, not even not even let's not even say dead, right? Let's say if your girl called me and like she's trying to do anything and she need help or whatever, the first thing I'm gonna do is call you. Yo, you feel me? The first thing I'm, first gonna, do is thing. I'm gonna be like, yo, um, such and such hit me. You cool with that? You get what I'm saying? That's the first thing I'm gonna do. You feel mm -hmm. me? So when that kind of man code, that's man code. Yeah, cause you ain't never gonna see me in a situation where I'm, you gotta question me about a bitch, period. Mm -hmm. Because that's just, bro, I, bro, don't listen. All right, let me tell you how far this, this, let me tell you how far, all of my friends, my closest friends, I told y'all about Will last week, yo. I don't have his girl number. His girl don't got my number. Yo, if if his girl ever reach out to me for any reason, he's the first, con before I even reply to her, I'm reaching like, yo, what's up with your girl? Why is she hitting me? Like, all of my niggas know we respect each other. Yo, you don't smash your homie, nothing. You don't be interacting with your homie, nothing. You don't even be looking at shorty hard for real. But let's get it. Let's, let's, let's say this, though. Let's say this. Because I got I'm sorry. I know. Because y'all be friendly been, with these motherfuckers. I don't be friendly. No, not that. It's just, I, I've been on, on, on the side of, like, uh, I'm not going to lie, of, like, kind of so-so. And let's just be careful who we call our homies. Because, yeah, I ain't smashing my man's girl. But if you associate... Your girl might get smashed. I'm that's just saying. All right, all right, let me ask, I mean, can we uh, be real? Clarify. Let me clarify. Because that's, that's that's what's associate like. What's an associate like? Is it? It could be somebody you cool with. That's different. Yeah. But, if, like, once but my, my dick, man's though, my once, nigga though. Oh, yeah, once yeah, yeah. my dick goes into the girl, it's a rat. Facts. Bro. You ain't really. That's, yeah. that's, that's that's. So, but what I was gonna say is like for that, like I just feel like ain't nothing wrong with like. And this is what I say. I I, I can attest to like maybe new school versus old school, right? And I and I'll definitely take full accountability and responsibility for this because I don't want to be just one sided. We do, as new school men, right? I have our girl in too many circles that they, they probably shouldn't be in, right? So like, we do have that whole friendship thing, brother thing, like my, my people's gonna make sure my girl good because I'm good, right? I can't ignore that. And I think that might be a, a, a new, newer school thing because I don't think old school men probably, you feel me? Like, no. and, I, and, I, and I'll take that and I'll take some accountability. But at the same time, at the end of the day, if you know something is rocky or whatever, I feel like you should still contact your man. There's nothing wrong with making sure my girl is good. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's I would, actually, everybody. as your man, I'm supposed to make exactly. sure your girl is good. But so, at, at the end of the day, on that, though, you understand, like, it's about how it's happened. Like, he said, the call. Like, it's been many times, you know what I mean? My nigga girl that called me or asked me something. Like, I'm a person who knows a lot of people and knows a lot of people. It's not, it's not foreign that somebody right. might ask me a question. Right. You feel me? And as long as the conversation is strictly what we're talking about, you know what I mean? Yeah, I might not say something, but if a girl hit me about you or my nigga or something that's insinuating something, I'm stopping when I'm doing, like, hey, yo, your girl hit me on some. But even if I had that regular conversation, like I said, I'm still gonna hit my man. Maybe not urgently, but right. I'll be like, next time, like, yeah, yeah, whoever. I was gonna, no, you, I was gonna ask you about this, right? Because it's funny, because I, I wanted to, damn, I wanted to talk to you about this. How about what about um like friend and friends? Huh? So like, all right, so like, let's say if you talk to oh, your friend about yeah. something, like that's your friend, right? right? You know what I'm saying? All right. But I don't know, like. It might be some conflict between your other friend, mm -hmm. right? But you talk to your friend about something. I feel like you should be able to do that. You should that's, do that. But that's your friend. But if it's about your other friend, are you supposed to tell them, or is it supposed to be a level of discretion? Because that is a conversation that you had amongst All your right, friends. So say for instance, if I'm beefing with stars and I call you and be like, "Yo, this nigga starts tripping," so like, is that is that wrong? Should, that, should I then should I then make because we talking about it? Is that my job to tell stars? I think uh, it depends on what the conversation's about. One, if it's something that y'all both know I may blow up or not like the conversation of, y'all both, but regardless of the conversation, if I'm both of y'all friends, then I think y'all gotta figure out a way to talk to me about my the issue y'all have yeah. or you have. Mm -hmm. I don't you know feel and like and everything and should... You being a friend for both of us, I feel like depending on how deep the friendship is of all three of us, you should be the mediator. Right, Just exactly. So it's exactly. I exactly. do think friends should should. Uh, so the person that's the pro, I guess the problem should be the mediator, right? No, not the problem. The person who, the problem. No, no, who, no, no. The person that I'm coming to is the mediator. So if I'm yeah. beefing with stars and I come to you, you're the mediator now. because you are my friend. But now I'm just put into something that I don't even want to be in. 
But that's what friendship is about, nigga. Yeah. You got to help be a, once again. All right, all right, not man code in this particular instance, but that's friend code. Like, yo, if I bring you a problem, yo, you're, you're, I'm, I'm asking you because you're irrational. You're outside of the situation. I know I'm being emotional. Mm. I need you to weigh the facts and let me know, yo, is he tripping or am I tripping? And I think that right that's there, good. that's good. I think that right there could be man code though, because to be, to be able to eliminate your emotions of a, on a situation and isolate your emotions to reality, right? I right. think that could be man code or it could be just people code, motherfucker, mm -hmm. you feel me? So if you come to me about an issue with a, a, a mutual friend, I should be able to like, Tell you hold up and slow down, right. but at the same time, still hear you off. That makes sense. Right, right, right. Um, now, now you gotta understand that there are things that we define or old school men define as man code that end up being woman code too. Mm. But it's just at the end of the day, it's what men define as rules and regulations amongst men. That's what I call. That's what I call, and what I was taught that man code is. So us learning how to conduct ourselves amongst ourselves, what lines not to cross. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, you you don't you should never. You can always shine, but you should always make sure your man's is good. So say if we was going out on a Friday, the way I used to do when I used to go out every Friday, if my homeboy ain't get paid that week, and I know I just got blessed on some bread, yo, if that nigga needed a shirt, nigga, I'll throw you a couple dollars to get you a shirt because mm -hmm. I want all of us to be fresh going to the club. Yeah. You don't want your man's to look homeless as fuck and then y'all pulling up to the club. That's I not definitely think that's man code, even down to the fact that I, I, I don't want to like say man code per se because I feel like it's just being raised differently because everybody wasn't yeah. raised like that. Because I feel like mm. even if it was a point where when we would go to the mall, if I was the only one buying something, I'd probably just give my bags to my mans or something. You feel me? Like if I can't go to the mall with niggas if, if they ain't, if they ain't, if my niggas ain't straight, I know they ain't straight. I know I'm about to go spend a bag. I'd rather just go by myself. Go by myself. But honestly. even on that, you see how like the 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 the, the, the intention is good, right? Uh, yeah. Both, but it's still different, right? He yeah. wouldn't even go to the mall he, with he, my niggas if right. I know they down. He could like, look at me and be like, "Man, I wouldn't even do that." But for me, I'm like, "Shit, if if, if I am going, y'all with me, I'm at least buy you something so you can have a bag, or right. I'm gonna give you my bags too, so we so we can all be in the mall together, right, right, looking right. like we got it. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, but either way, I feel like the intention is good, but it could be looked at as different. And dude. even flipping down to, let's say, if we moving into hollering at chicks or whatever, we out and about, we moving around. Like, yo, we I'm always gonna try to play a situation where we can all get something versus I'm just gonna get mine. All right, I scooped me a couple bitches and now fuck y'all niggas, y'all ain't get shit, whatever. Like, yo, I'm always gonna be like, yo, I'm a holla at shorty. Like, yo, you got two or three homegirls? Cool, yo, I got my man over here. They need this, da 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 da. That's what's up. I'm always gonna want, and but once again, I feel like that is being raised a certain way. But that's always me, bro. We all. I mean, when it comes to women, I mean, you know, the, the nigga who shine the brightest in group. I feel like he in charge of making sure his niggas get the pussy. You feel me? Like, and then that's not to get pussy. I mean, you know what I mean? Nah. Getting, you yeah. know, making the sure girls the numbers, and you know, on included. the road to pussy. I don't want to just right. make singles. Right, 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 all right, right. Pussy. But I'm saying like, us, like say it's a three and I see it's like a, it's two bitches. I'm not about the, I don't care how bad they are. Right. I ain't in a situation to be doing two jumps. You feel Facts. me? So I'm not going to do that. But mm -hmm. if it's a group situation, it's like, three, all right, cool. When I'm out with y'all. Now, if it's just like me or just me and you, and I see a one join, I'm be like, I'll be right back, Jamie. Right. Like, but it's like, I feel like that's stuff that like real friends and real men go through. I think nowadays that's just being misconstrued because it's like every man for themselves out here. Word. That's just scary. And on an addition to that, if now I've never been the pretty nigga out of the squad. But For I real? tell niggas the rules. Shut up. <laughs> I can't the tell, rules, dog. The, rule, the rules of the game is like good, this. Dog. The rules of the game is like this. You <laughs> never downplay none of the mans in the group. Meaning that, y'all, yeah, y'all like, I hate it when niggas man. get saucy and they true intentions start to come out. And those are the oh, niggas man. I diss myself from. Scary. To where they shooting, they shooting like shots at you and shit. And it's like, you know what I mean? The girls come over. Oh, yeah, you dress fly. Yeah, yo, but you know he just got paid. Yo, that nigga normally be bummy like, yo. I don't oh, think I would those, that, like, those yo, are the scariest that's that faggy shit. But it don't like, be as it, see that happens, is that in a long time. But it, it goes not in that way. It, yeah, not, not no, that way is a little blatant. You smite me smack shit out, chill. But I'm talking <laughs> about like, but like, you know, niggas be like, uh, yeah, you put a bitch, yeah, you know, just got the spot of, of oh, here he goes. Talking about this, uh, you feel me? Like, why you say that, bro? Like, damn, I ain't never you think know, little that. shit like that, but they, they try to they, they love to, to to cover it and like laugh. Now, right. Like, right. Only, only it's kind of like undercut you because they either they feeling insecure or they feeling they they not getting enough attention from See, the women. See, when I when I I just think like yeah, all that's in Manco. I just feel like when I when I think about Manco, I guess because of the situation that just happened, like I feel like it's about like having a conversation with a woman about your man about anything. Period. You don't do that. I, that's yeah, just, I don't I don't like that at all. And if you do women, find yourself no, because I found myself like trying to 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 to, to save a situation for my man's, and in that way, you feel me? Like even even situation like. 
I'm speaking positive about my nigga to right. his joint, letting her know like, yo, this is not way yet, right? Like, da, da, like, is that wrong? You feel right. me? If I if I let you know, like, like, but that comes with trust too, because if you know me as a person, you trust that I'm saying everything I'm supposed to be saying to right. that conversation. Right. So but that's a level of friendship. But that's not that's not getting fucked up though. Like even so, like, it's crazy because you gotta understand that if uh, 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 um I falling out with your girl, like even my situation, right? Mm-hmm. I falling out with your lady. If I don't trust my bitch at this moment, right? Mm-hmm. I ain't trusting no nigga around me. Of course. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. So like, I feel like even in those situations, we just gotta be careful because depending on what you do, your action can show your loyalty, even if it's if it's not meant to be that way, right? Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Like, so I think I think it's so tricky when it comes to this. So what you saying is, if you don't trust your girl, you don't trust none of your homeboys neither. Not. Mm-hmm. I don't. Understand I'm saying that. in moments because you gotta understand your woman is the closest person to you. Because to me. And this might be the crazy thing for me. I trust all of my that I, the ones that I said they they my heart. They like family to me. Mm. I trust them around my girl. Yeah. She could be drunk. She could be acting crazy. Fact. I know they're gonna. I know they're gonna the operate cool. Now but I don't I, know about her. No matter how much I'm in facts. love with her, but I know how they're gonna. But move. what I'm saying is when you mm. when you see somebody, for example, right, like like even the monster vision, one of it was one of my closest friends that was moving shady, right, mm. and at that moment it's like, bro, what the fuck. Your whole world can get thrown upside You get what I'm saying? So now it's like, I don't know who to trust. And that's why man code is so important. Is that a lot of our confidence and our and our and our stability within ourselves comes from the fact that we are surrounded by men that we all trust each other. We all have gone through things together. We 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 rely on each other. It may not be about money, but it might be about that emotional security mm-hmm. of like, yo, my dog got my back no matter where we go. If I mouth up, like you said, I might say something stupid, we get into a fight, he gonna he gonna be right there with me. I'm and gonna tell you on the back end. I'm gonna, we gonna right. go in the, in the crib when we go home. Like, bro, you was on dumb shit. You yeah. got us fucked up. You might even whip my moment, ass or whatever. But in the moment, I'm gonna be with you. Speaking of man code, though, right? It also comes with like just taking accountability and and, and being able to tell your man yeah. that he's wrong. Yeah. I feel like that should be a part of man. Hey, I feel like it's a conversation and, that needs to happen. And on the flip side, admitting when you wrong, mm. taking the responsibility for yourself. I, I yeah, I think a lot that. of that is a, like I feel like fuck your friends making you accountable. How about you come to your friends with accountability? Like, yo, mm. I know I really fucked up. I came at you kind of crazy the other day. Mm. You feel me? Instead of him hitting you like, yeah, yo, my bad. Another day. Hey, I did come at you kind of crazy the other day too. I apologize. You, did. you feel me? I appreciate that. You feel me? But but that's another thing. Like, I for me, I guess my, like, yo, I guess my, going on? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. I definitely Cause did. I was like, yo, but that's what it comes down to. And I'm glad you said that. Cause it's like certain friends for certain things. I feel like certain like, for like like Jay's like one of my close friends. Like Jay's one of my close ones. I mean, I don't have to talk to Jay every day. You feel me? Even before this pod, I've talked to Jay every random time. But it's still passionate conversation about life and and trust me saying anything to him and knowing it's gonna stay with him. You feel me? And I've been like he's told you many times. I I I, I pride myself in building building respect and trust with with niggas I truly love because I want that same energy back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But um, you know it's a, it's a moment like he was, he was angry. He was going through it. You know what I mean? And, and you know he just was hearing things. He just was trying to and then and then the situation happened with him and his situation. Well, I understand where he was coming from. That's why I was calmly like, no, that's not what happened. Show me where is that. Yeah. Show me proof of it because you know me better than that. That's literally all I said. That yeah. same tone. Because we gotta, we gotta, we gotta understand something. Like, as fucked up as it is, you can't really change your perspective on someone until they change how they are. Like, if I'm mm-hmm. always good to you, I'm, I'm just a nigga who's always good to you mm-hmm. until proven and until mm-hmm. proven different. And, I and proof is that. really needed. No, nah, facts. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I, I definitely think men should be able to come to each other and and, and, and express how they feel. Mm-hmm. And you want to hear it out. Like, even like, I'm not even going to just paint that picture. Like, you feel me? Like, because even in that situation, I do want to give my guy uh the respect of, like, when I came to him about it, he took all he took all the responsibility. He tried to tell me his side, but I told him, like, bro, this ain't about you. You feel me? It's about me and my situation, and you inserted yourself into it. But at the same time, he definitely was apologetic, and he was like, yo, I apologize. And for me to do anything else, I don't say to, to do anything else than forgive him, but I talk on a podcast so many times about forgiving a girl that might cheat on me, right? So if I can do that about a, a chick, I can definitely do that about a nigga that I call my brother, right? Right. So like, I felt it was I, it was it was it was, it was necessary to, to forgive him because one, bro, he apologized for you to you. I'm saying mm-hmm. he admitted everything that he did was wrong, even though it's foul. It, it is what it is. He definitely apologized to you. And for me to want to do anything other other than move forward is being a bully at that point. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, bro, it's like trying to fight somebody that don't want no problems. You feel me? The man literally was like, yo, I apologize. I can see how I look that way. And I wasn't even, I wasn't even, I wasn't even looking at it like that, mm-hmm. but I made the wrong step and I apologize. So I definitely want to even go and if I'm gonna talk about one side, I definitely want to talk about the other side. But I definitely think when it comes to man coach, you, you should be able to come to your man and be like, yo, this was fucked up. I don't fuck with that. And your man should be able to be like, you know what? 
I see what, how you can feel that way. My actions wasn't supposed to show that, and my intentions wasn't that, but I apologize, and I hope we can move forward. You mm -hmm. feel me? And both, now, both now what ways. about the moving forward part? <clears throat> like, that's my my thing. Like, I have friends who, who've shitted on me, who've done little things to me, who've done envious things to me, and me being a person who gives so much, I really don't have the, 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 the second chance to give mm. you that same 100% from me. You feel me? Like, like anybody, like y'all, like y'all done nothing. Neither one y'all did. So anytime y'all call me, y'all want something, y'all gonna give me a hundred percent of my attention and my respect, cause y'all never. Said. But once you do something to me, that hundred percent is now seventy five. Yeah, 50? I mean, and, and I think, and I think we mm. gotta. It's always but, in the back of my head. Like if you do that, but a part then of, what would you do later? You know what I mean? A part of being a man. I'm sorry. A part of being a man. I think you know understanding that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Cause like I think even in, I keep going to the relationship thing, cause it really taught me a lot over these three years. You feel me? Like, and I feel like if. If I can understand that my actions has something to do with how you react, right? So if I if I if I cheat on you, right, I know that I lost some of your trust. You gotta build so that I gotta back. I gotta build that back. As yep. a friend, I gotta understand that I just fucked up something, right? And yeah, I want you to trust me the same, but I gotta understand what my actions have showed for you to react in the way you react, mm -hmm. and I gotta give you grace for that. And and let's be real, it's way harder for you to get respect back from a homeboy. Yeah. Especially when the female's involved, then yeah. you forgiving a female. Mm. And, and that's, it, it really but that's sad though. Why? Because we should like if we can nah. Feel, because we know that women involved. are more emotional, and I mean, excuse me, in men in man perspective, and that we could be wrong a lot of times. Yeah, of course. Is that women have a tendency to be more emotional and to make more erratic decisions based off of those emotions. That's a fact. Versus, we expect our male friends to be more steadfast. And, and but I want to say this: you stand know, up niggas. I, I, I feel like I should be with stand up niggas. I just want to. No, that's a fact. But I, I just want to, you know. And because I come on this platform and I defend women a lot, but I just want to be on the same way, on the same page. Well, if I can come on here and I can say, you know, um, I'm gonna forgive my woman, even though I understand that she's can move out of irrational things like right. that, et cetera, et cetera. I want to get that same love to my man. Cause just like you said, at the end of the day, you're gonna trust your man before your woman. You know they ain't gonna do nothing. So if you're gonna mm -hmm. trust them before, you should better, you should we should be able to forgive them be, before we won't as forgive. well. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because like at the end of the day, we all human, we all make mistakes. You right. feel me? And I and granted, this. Let's not get it fucked up. I just want to make this clear. Everything I'm saying is way easier said than done. Exactly. So let's make that. Let's, I'm just trying to be a good person. What I'm saying is, so I might move in opposite ways, but no, I'm doing the best that I can. Mm. All I'm saying is like, mm. we should be able to, as men, forgive our niggas for making the same similar mistakes that our woman or other chicks do, and we forgive them. Like, come on, man. If you could forgive this chick that you just met, you feel me? Come on, forgive your nigga that you knew for, for years. Wow. No, definitely, we should definitely try to normalize that, but we gotta just realize, you know what I mean? <sighs> Bitches change a lot for niggas, man. Yeah. Women change a lot. But, uh, your niggas anything. Change, but your niggas change for you too, and we don't acknowledge our niggas for that. Not on no bro man shit, but yo, yo our niggas been there for us through the longest. Thin, you feel the me? And, and, and our niggas, been, they, they done dealt with things from us that they ain't want to deal with, you get what I'm saying? And we didn't dealt with things from them that we ain't want to deal with, and we got over those things. We didn't fought through things, you feel me? So the argument isn't forgiveness, though. You, you're right. My thing is, it depends. That's On all. What though? What what was done? Oh, or what was said. Because yeah, because. Like not not this ain't not, this is not me speaking on Jay. I don't even know the details can, of this though. shit. It's fine. But no, I don't I don't know the details of that situation we're talking about. I'm talking about as far as me and situations I've been through with niggas. It's we like, got you know, side note before you go. We gotta teach stars how to pod. Cause it'd be like so reserved. Now that we went viral and shit, you be like, nah, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna, bro. I gotta, we gotta teach him how to be vulnerable. He said, he said you scared of coming up on the wrong side of a conversation. Yeah, bro, like talk this shit. Like start be like, nah, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't, bro. No, I'm talking about I just generally don't know all the details to come at that. I feel it's fine. But nigga, I don't give a fuck. All right, I say titty, <laughs> I say titty ass on him more than anybody ever been. Nigga, that ain't be, that ain't nothing crazy. I'm saying titty. I and... fucked my nigga girl before. Like, what you want? You I mean what? Did you guys get into that? I've done that before. No, nah, when I was younger. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Like, you want me to just say things I've done that's fucked up? Go no, ahead, no, man, no, go no, ahead. no, no, right. no. But no, what I'm saying is this: I fucked my nigga's sister before. I mean, sisters. Yo, sister. bro. <laughs> sister, sister. Yo. I was younger, though. Yo, we coming. Back I was younger. To that. Oh, I ain't say that. I was younger. I thought this was like, like twenty two. We, we coming. Back I was. To that. I was a teenager still. I think. I think. I think you were a teenager still. Yo, call me, bro. If, if you watch my podcast, because that's my nigga too. Like that was my guy. Like that was my like my. Did y'all? So did you? Did y'all fall into after it? that? So he was mad, but um, no, no, no. He he ain't he ain't fuck with me for doing that, but um, like we got over it. But, but I haven't talked to him friends, since right? then. Now we still friends. Nah, nah. Like, like it's crazy because it's one of them friends we don't talk to each other like barely at all. But I can call him, and I know he probably will be on some go on some go time for me. Like, cause I was in the hood back in the day. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like all these niggas hood niggas. But okay, like we haven't talked. Well, she was in the neighborhood, and you know. I mean, how old was she? I don't know. 
Was she a grown ass woman? No, I think I might have been like. Well, I might have been like twenty one, maybe, maybe or right. twenty. Okay. And she was what? She was around the same age. She made. I mean, she had consent and stuff. Yeah, it just it was, you didn't my, trip fall into the pussy. Though. That was my nigga. But you were saying you were saying you didn't want to go into my situation, but no, 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 I don't. But I, I, as far as um, just just man trusting for me, it's been up and down for me. Even I got a close friends now. I got like five friends I just trust amazingly, you know what I'm saying, wholeheartedly. And I feel like that's all I really need. Everybody else is really like, you know, associates and there's levels to associations. Um, but I feel like uh, ultimately I trust these niggas in a room with my girl, you know what I'm saying, trying them. And they be like, nah, that's not what I'm doing. That's mm -hmm. the type of niggas I want to be around. Now I know like, yo, what you want me to do? What you try to put? Like, no, nah, we men, we all have controlling. You feel me? Not saying this situation isn't going to happen, but I want that kind of trust with my niggas. Mm. You feel me? Same amount of trust with the, with the women I'm dealing with, but especially my niggas because I want to make money with my niggas. I want to I want to share love with my, my niggas. I want to take my niggas on trips. Where, like I, I have goals to be big as shit, make millions of dollars. And I want the niggas in my circle to, to deserve what I give them because of their loyalty through me through these years. Mm. So I can't have no space for no niggas who want to fuck shit. You ain't mm. got too many times really show me a whole bunch of different sides. I ain't really got, I done been screwed. Niggas done tried to put my bitch, niggas done talk shit about me and they smiled on my face and took my bottle out my fucking uh, section and, and, and drank it and took pictures with me and in the same breath try to fuck a bitch that they saw me in the section with. You know what I'm saying? So I done been through hella shit, you understand? I done been on LA and all, all it's the same way with niggas, yo. It's all about females, they do the most, Weak shit to impress women or try to get women like, and it, and it's at the cost of friendship or at the cost of niggas or at the cost of just trying to get some pussy. So I have a different mindset now, especially having a group of men that I call friends and I can truly trust and they have not shown me anything different. That's why I'm so. That's why transitioning through anything with Jay, like I've already I already know the layout of every situation and what I'm gonna do just so I look like a good nigga no matter what because I'm not trying no dumb shit. I'm never. I stand on my trust. I stand on being a real ass nigga and I stand on, you know, saying how I feel and being who I am. It's a reason I ain't got no chain around my fucking neck. It's a reason why I ain't out here trying to buy Gucci and all this other shit. Cause I ain't really trying to impress nobody. I'm me. I'm comfortable in my own skin. And a lot of men have problems with that with themselves. 75% mm. of the men, I know you hate it. I say random ass percentages. I've been telling you, stop with these fucking percentages. 75% of men are not comfortable <laughs> in their own skin and they need something else. Where are we getting these fucking numbers from? Google it. Now, if I may jump in and I'm gonna ask both of you this question. Does man code extend further outside of your friendship circle? Does man code cover every man on the planet and how we conduct ourselves, or is it just within your circle? Just within your circle, I think. My personal opinion. Um, but it could. I, I'm not. I'm not closed enough to hearing that it could be outside of your circle. I. I. I, I think it's just circle. Though. I feel like man code extends to every man on the planet. And I see. I can see why you say that because when you started, you started with. Um, you know, a man taking care of himself, not uh, yeah. not uh, relying on somebody else to take care of him. Yeah. And I think when I was saying that about man code, I think I think stars kind of agreed too. I thought it was just yeah. with your circle of your circle. men talking mm -hmm. about like you're talking about men being men. Yeah, men being men. Exactly. That's not man code to me. And, and like, yeah, I don't even, think that's man code. Why, why is the whoa? It's not man code. Whoa, to why? Because man code is a code within uh, men, a man or, or, yeah, or a group. Men, all yeah, but men. but a group. But if I, there's like, a, there's that, Go ahead. That's a man in general. Like what you're speaking on, a woman would expect from a man also. Mm. Man code is just with amongst men. That's like me telling you, like, yeah, man, shit, nigga, I caught the, you know what I'm saying? A little bitch burnt me for real. And you taking that information and telling a bitch or telling anybody else. That's like, not man code. That's oh my not God. man code at all. That but shit is what? That would I would I would get just as pissed off if a nigga I don't know was going to tell but a I would bitch never like, tell a nigga. I would never I tell a nigga I don't know that. Like, yeah, I would never tell a nigga I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like, I, I, say, never... I say that to say something vulnerable that I, I, I that a, that your homie or whoever or trust is again yes. trust yes. the biggest part of man code. If that happens, then that's a fucked up place. Yes. And I trust. I can tell y'all anything, and I know it's not gonna leave because y'all are scared of breaking man. I want to. I want my niggas to be scared of breaking man code, nigga. I want my niggas to be like, oh shit, nah, I can't even. You sweat, bitches. Oh yeah, what's up with Jay? I'm in a in situation. Like, what's going on? What's the deets? I'm like. <laughs> I don't really, you feel me? You gotta, you ask, know, that you gotta ask that man. Cause I, mean, I don't wanna be ever looked at from none of my niggas. I'm out here pillow talking or whispering or anything. Cause you know what that leaves? Trust that he don't have no more in me. Back in his mind, no matter how many times he forgive a nigga, back in his mind, it's still never gonna be hundred percent. But I feel like it's different. And now I hear exactly what y'all saying, but yeah. it's different for me. So where, say for instance, I know a lot of females in the industry and I've had my dibble and dabble and they have come to me. You know, these chicks be loose as shit with hey, the information. Man, 
Not man. You, I have never taken anything they said and then told Jay Hill about it or even told you about it. I keep that shit to myself. Okay. And I don't give a fuck what nigga it was about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like as a man, it's not my business to talk about it. And to me, that's what man but, code all right, is. So, is that learning that as a man, that's some pussy shit to go around. Yo, let me tell you what this girl said. She just said duh, 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 duh. like. Nah, but on nigga. top of that, though, no, nah, you're right. That I, makes I, you a bitch. No, no, no. In my opinion. I, so, but let's. I feel like a lot of these things are straddling on the fence, right? It's so not like, straddling on the fence. This is fucking man. I'm going to tell, tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. If you saying you a real man, shit that ain't your business, you don't fucking talk about. Okay, no, no, no. Facts. That's a fact. No, no, that's a fact. When I'm talking about straddling the fence, I'm like, if somebody, if, let's say hypothetically, right, a girl come to me and say, you a foul ass nigga for touching her or something. Right. Whatever. As your friend and as a man, my, I feel like I should... I need to come to you and, and approach you on your shit. Oh, most yeah, definitely. Yeah. I yeah, think, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I agree like, with like, you. Hey, yo, uh, you touch her on the brother? Yeah, or even, if, <laughs> or even if it wasn't her, if she if she said like, you got a rep of, of this and that. And I think that's why I was trying to have the conversation about um, accountability amongst men, bro. Cause yeah. I feel like a lot of niggas just be scared to say that. Like anytime I hear anything about my man that I don't fuck with, and I want to talk to you about this. Right, right. Because I think this, when it comes to intentions being good, it, 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 it it, that straddles the fence, right? Yeah. So for example, like anything I hear about my man or I see about my man that I don't like, I wanna come to him directly and approach him about it, right? Mm -hmm. But we can't ignore the fact that everybody don't react to criticism the same way. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you might not say something to your mans because you don't want it to get explode or whatever, if that's the right word. You, you don't want it to... um. What's the word? Uh, Blow out of proportion or whatever the kid is. Like it depends on what the situation is. I Let's just like say if it's not, it's, it's not, whatever that situation is, is quote unquote, air quotes y'all, is not that big of a deal, right? Mm. Let's say it was a situation that might have been a misunderstanding. It's like, yo, you know what? It ain't even that big of a deal. I ain't gonna say nothing. But I found out that it wasn't that big of a deal through a mutual party. For example, mm. let's say you do something that I don't like. I come to you like, yo, what the fuck, da da da? You like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. It probably was this and that and that. Don't even trip because if you come to him and you say something, then it might just make it worse. You feel me? Mm. So it's like I feel like man code can be me holding accountability. You know what? I'm gonna just chill. But now, guess what? I left him out of it, and now I came to somebody else to talk to him about him. But guess so now, so Matt, me trying to have man code just took away my man, man code from my man. If it, that makes makes sense, what I'm trying to say? You are basically saying like you know what I mean? The the conversation that you're having with him should be comfortable enough to have with your man. Yeah, I, that, personally, and, and, that's and, what I want. And, and, and the only reason why you don't have the conversation is because y'all both feel like this person is going to take it. Not they're not going to take it the right way. You know way. what the problem with that is? Is you get used to doing that because he's calming you down, mm. right? But this isn't being taken care of. Damn, this was not. So, so exactly. I'm, I don't know. I did anything wrong. So who's to say I won't do the same thing again right. with something different? Right. And then you hold it in and you blow up. You, then no, you get upset. Then. You go back to him a second time now. Right. He did this. And you, cause you were soothed from him the first time mm -hmm. he told you something his your man did was fucked up. Mm -hmm. So you come in a second time, and you know the problem will keep going to him and not me. When you finally do tell me, it's probably blow up. It's because gonna be it's, it's going to be bad the way shit on top of shit on top of shit. Right. That, that now at this point, at the fourth time I did something wrong, you don't went him three times. He sued and he made you feel like you know what I mean this is a, nah you know him. Da, 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 da. But at this point, the fourth time you're like, no, nah, you know what this nigga this nigga said fuck me for real. When they really ain't saying fuck you, he just don't know you. By the whole time you've been, he don't know what the issues. fuck. Yeah, yeah, the building. He don't even know. So you looking at you like, damn, damn, Jay, why you yelling at me like this? What the fuck I do to you to That's deserve disrespect like this? Like, and even, now it's a place of of burntness between you and your friend. Realistically, because you ain't have scared of a conversation. And the, the most, and another important element is real true friendship. Even if it's the first time and you feel like he gonna blow up, let that nigga blow up. Now, if it blows up and y'all can't come back to a level where y'all can have a conversation, then y'all know y'all not meant to be friends for real, for real. But a real, cause true friendship, y'all should be able to have a blow up, have an argument, get through it, and be done with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I have had dog down, drag out arguments with my homeboys that almost led to blows. But like, but you I gotta, you got. Sometimes you gotta get to that place so that y'all. So resolve. me, me personally, I'm not gonna lie. Like I would rather have that. Like I'd rather have that like with my fight. Not, is, nah, not on that, but I would <laughs> rather like because I'm a com this might not even be a word. communicator. Yeah, yeah, I'm a communicator. I was word? about to say a communicationist. Word checker? No, nah, communicator is. A I was about to say some bullshit. <laughs> Yo, that's, bro, that's complete trash. I was, bro, I was about to say I'm a communicationist instead of a communication. Hey, yo, yeah, niggas love putting this on shit to the <laughs> talk. So like, I'm a communicationist, right? So like me. I would rather talk to a nigga, and if you got a problem, we talking to hash it out. And I, for me, that shit feel good. I ain't gonna lie, that's like bet we good. 
But I can't lie, like, again, like, a lot of times you get conflicted with growth and, like, just doing the right thing. Like, you want to do the right thing. It's like, yo, I don't want to, if, if it's not that big of a deal, then let me relax. Let me check myself. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not trying to, like, come to somebody and now I look like I'm that angry nigga. You know what I'm saying? See, and but it depends on the type of human being <laughs> you are. Like, you know if, if you're the type of person that can get upset about something and then the next day you totally forgot what you got upset about, then yeah, you could do that. But if you're the type of person where you're cataloging every little thing that's done, then you need to talk about if shit. If you're an overthinker. Yeah, mm. if you're an overthinker, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of nigga where I can get mad about something and then I also know within me that, yo, I'm just the type of nigga to get mad about shit. Mm. So sometimes I just be having to go like, yo, it ain't you know, really that That's certain. energy too. You don't want to keep on wasting it. Like, when I walk into a situation or I, I, before I have a confrontation or see it maybe a confrontation, I think to myself, do I have the energy for this shit today? Mm. Do I have the energy to sit and, and argue with this individual on why I feel like what they did was wrong? Right. More so, but that comes to, again, you knowing your friends. Right. Mm -hmm. but, but that's I, what you, but that goes with what you're saying though. Do you have the energy for that shit? Like, don't, sometimes I don't, like, don't want to talk to Jay about something that he made me mad like on five o'clock on Saturday, but maybe six o'clock on Sunday, I'll have the energy okay. for it. Okay, okay. Right. But it has right. to be done. But I definitely think we should start thinking about things for a conversation too. I think, fuck the whole, I'm go to him about it. How about you? Certified, you know Sit your friend. For Sit, think about it. Like, if I bring it to him this way, how would he react? Damn. If I bring it to it this way, how would he react? Because I'm your friend. At the end of the day, you know how your friend is. Right. You, the reason you even went to him because you think that your other friend is a little aggressive. You right. know what's crazy? We always have these relationship conversations, and we ignore the fact that like friendship is a type of relationship. It is right. And I feel like every time we had these conversations about like men and women, you always hear on the internet like, damn. We need these conversations. These conversations are Facts. so important, but we don't never have these conversations. You feel me? Because I feel like a lot of times, like we ignore our friends for relationships, for, for, for intimate relationships. We ignore our friends for business things, ventures. We ignore our friends for so many things because we, we just assume that they're going to always be there for us and we don't communicate with them. And we don't have these conversations about how would they feel if, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I think I'm glad you brought up the man code thing because I feel like this is a conversation that is super important. Word. Mm -hmm. On top of that, Another reason why I want to get into it is because of, I have a question, and one of the questions is, I have a couple of questions. Where did you learn man code? So I learned man code through the hood, right? Because I mm. always thought it was some hood shit, and then I found out that it ain't no hood shit. It's just some man shit. You feel mm. me? Like that hood shit that we learned, it ain't really hood shit. Like not telling, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, fucking being responsible for your own actions, right? Mm -hmm. Like. All that shit we thought was hood shit, like, man, yo, if, if you get in a situation and something happened, you don't say nothing, man, we thought it was some hood nigga shit, like, nah, bro, it's just some man shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, if I insert myself in a situation that I don't belong in and I get caught, it ain't my job to bring the next See, nigga but up I me. disagree because I know a lot of niggas from the hood and a lot of niggas don't operate or even have the same understanding that you have. So I'm not, I'm so, who in the so, hood was it that really it gave was, you that information? It was really, so I, mean, I tell niggas all the time, like, my gen... I'm blessed to have my generation because the generation before me, I said it before that I, I don't think they, 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 they paved the way, but I, I'm a, we can't, that, that's the um, statement right now because they didn't pave the way to show us business wise, but they definitely paved the way to show us moral, moral and ethic wise. And what mm -hmm. I mean by that is like the niggas that were selling drugs in the projects when I was coming up, these niggas were saying, don't sell drugs. Mm -hmm. They always were saying, don't sell drugs. You feel me? They always saying, go to school. They always were saying that like from mm -hmm. day one. That's so nice. like, I think that's how I learned, man, cool. They always were saying like, yo, and, and I'm going to keep it 100. <clears throat> and this might sound crazy now that I'm about to say this. You probably about to say what I was going to say. I learned man code from my moms. Facts. That's, that's my answer. Mm, you feel me? Mother. Like, I, I learned man code from my mother. <clears throat> like, my mother was just saying, like, yo, like. Men don't do this. Yeah. Men don't do that. This is what men do. This right. is how men treat women. Even when I did this, this shit with, with my shorty, I called my moms. And she was like, you got to tell her. You mm. know what I'm saying? Grand. Like, all my, all my niggas was like, don't say shit. Like, you don't. That's not smart. My moms was like, yo, like. You tell her because at the end of the day, you made that decision and you got to live with that. Mm. You feel me? And keeping anything from her, like, that's just, that's not no man shit. Like, my mom said this. I mean, my mom's like 70 years old. You feel me? So it's like, so, but having said that, is that man code we talk, we talk about our mother, though. If you was taught a law, no matter who taught you the law, you know the but law. But who was my mom to say was right. man code? Well, I mean, it's women, not that women don't experience it or don't understand it. It women, just, they may not know all the intimate details about shit, but the broad strokes are going to be out there. 
I mean, you had to say, you talking about you learned it from the hood. You talking bitches went in the hood? They was right there watching niggas. Facts. <laughs> they was right there watching niggas. And you got to remember, that's like a lot of these manly characteristics, that's what the women are attracted to. Mm -hmm. So they they want to they wanna be connected with somebody that has morals, character, you know what I'm saying? Like that steadfastness, because that's what makes them feel safe and secure. And, bro, it's crazy because I think the, 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 the ultimate understanding of this conversation is, is um, you know, just being able to be to forgive. And I say that because out of all the things we're saying, man code is important. To be a stand-up nigga is important, right? But guess what? Just like it is to be a, a monogamous man in a relationship is important, we make mistakes. And I, I had to learn that, right? Like I had to learn it, like, cause I always want to be this nigga that was perfect, right? And then like, then I made a mistake, it just crushed me. Mm -hmm. And somebody was like, yo, that was, it was actually, Alex, shout out to Alex. He was like, yo, that was God showing you that you're still human, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like it's going to be times where our men might not be the most stand up nigga in a situation through our eyes, mm. right? And we gotta be understanding enough to know that, yo, we trusted them this far that they can make mistakes, if that makes sense. No, I, I, I definitely, I, I believe that, I, um, you know, but again- It's hard it's, though, it's, it's easy hard. to say, it's no, easy to say. No, it's, it, it is just, I'm never gonna, it's gonna depend on the situation. I, I feel like what, another important element is, I feel like at some point in our development as black men in the black community, is that man code started to separate from our code in relationship. Mm. or how we treat our relationship, I mean, our relationship with our women. Mm. And the, I feel like the most, most important thing is now me teaching the younger people and the young niggas around me and my nieces, my nephews and all of them, is that, yo, man code exists within the relationship. Meaning that the same loyalty and respect that you show, you, should, you show your friends, your male friends, you should show your woman. Like, and I've said this before, like, how is it easy for you to you know what I'm saying? Show the loyalty to your homeboys. But this woman is giving you her body. She's giving you her finances. She's giving you her ultimate trust. You know what? You don't show her that. You know who told me that, bro? Who it? A nigga. I remember old head told me, um, he was like, you know, person I get my most respect is my woman. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she's the person that laid with me every night. She's the one that break with bread with me all the time. Mm -hmm. Like my man's is my man's don't get it fucked up. But mm -hmm. my bitch is the one that's beside me all the time. So I'm I'm gonna give her my first and foremost utmost respect because she lay she lays her head next to me every night and break but bread with me. That's also because that man respects his woman. Mm. A lot of men out here are in relationships because of a situation. Mm. You know, that, whether it be they fell into it or they was in a relationship they really wanted to be and they had a rebound. Now that rebound becomes the person you're fucking with. Uh. Or they get pregnant and now you're you know what I mean, trying to do the right thing. Or then, or maybe you just, you know what I mean, needed somewhere to live. It's a lot of homeless niggas out here in relationships right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As they joke about. I'm glad you I'm glad you brought the relationship shit up in it, right? I want to talk about this part, man. For, let's talk about like being judgmental of relationships. Right? And I feel like- from the inside. you can be a little bit more clear? So, you, you know, like as men, right? We have conversations. We say a lot of shit about our woman or whatever. You know what I'm saying? When we mm -hmm. upset <clears throat> and- where do you draw the line of like being judgmental or just my, not minding your business, but like just understanding that that nigga was angry? So, like, so, like, so if you can't, so, so if Jay came to me about his girl and he's telling me like, I hate he's this bitch. Da, 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 yeah, bitch had the nerve to go up this up. What, what, what is he little? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm over this bitch. Oh, I'm over this bitch for real, man. Fuck this bitch. Da, 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 da. And we said it like that. And then he go back with her. And then we done sat there for an hour telling you different situations to help you get the fuck out of it, but instead you ignored everything and now you're back over there. And then when it happens again, you come back to us having the same energy. But I think how you, you just said that, that's judgmental though. That's not judgmental. It's what are you get coming to us for? Is it for us to soothe you or do you want true advice? Mm. Do you so, want solutions or, or do you, you want just want, yeah, mm. you just want to get that little bit of, all right, it's going to be But which one right, is it though? Day. If that's your man's though, right? Like, like if you can't well, judge what that is, only he can make that judgment. Yeah. Mm. Whomever's coming to us. Well, I can judge it if you go back, right. depending on what you told me right. and, you, and you went back into the situation. You see, but you're of, not judging, you're, what you're doing is you're judging his action. You're not necessarily judging him. So oh, what yeah, you're saying mm. is if you came to us and said it's over, it's over, it's over, and we saying, it may not be over, yo. Just chill. You just man, upset. Fuck that, man. And you doing all of that. And then after a while, we giving you solutions on. Okay, well, this is what you should do if you feel right. like this thing. And we like, oh yeah. And then we talked to you for an hour. And then tomorrow you like, yeah, I'm out with Shorty. You feel me? We chilling. You know, I'm like, so it's like for me, it's like two things come into my mind with that. One, what the fuck you tell us for? And two, did you do you trust our opinion? Ooh. Or did you come here for our opinion? That's deep. Okay, so but a lot of times we come at, and, and that's deeper than relationship shit. A lot of times you come to people, not even just men. You come to people 
not for their opinion, just a vent though. But that's I think true. that needs to be clear. Yeah, I, 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 nigga, you don't even know you need to vent at the time. Like sometimes you really you know, angry. That's true. Not, like, yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. you be angry and you don't even know you need to. You know when you call me, you. try I mean, you so know that no, no, I definitely you know, know Jay Hill's time in I, don't, I don't believe when I'm not giving him no solutions unless he dearly asks me, <laughs> what, what should, should I, I do? do? If you don't ask me that, I'm just but adding I think on I'm to a, conversation. But I think I'm a what should I do ass nigga though. I'm always asking what should you're, I do. You're married. Yeah, but you don't never listen. So we don't, don't never listen. listen. <laughs> you never listen. Yeah. Never listen. Bro, I be listening. Fuck y'all niggas. I be I, listening. No, you don't, nigga. Shut up. All right, whatever. What advice have you took from either one of us relationship wise? Relationship wise? No, I probably nigga. I told you what to do, and you still but did it. But as a, as <laughs> a relationship wise, that, I, that, I probably didn't take no advice from relationship. No, no, but I take advice other places. Watch, but you, you, but I told you all this before. I'm sorry. You, you stop isolating one situation and making it the entire situation. Like, bro, for you to say I don't listen to you relationship wise, don't mean I listen to you in any other. Issue. That's the point of me putting on the end of it. Do we really want relationship take this? wise? We're not going down his path, bro. But at the same time, as a friend, and this is this is a great point here. You can take the last of that, sir. That's all you. One great thing about being a friend is understanding that when you in love, you upside down sometimes. So like, it's a lot going on. So like, yeah, I gotta understand that, yo, like he's, he venting or he might be serious or he might not be serious. And like, yo, it's a roll of the dice what he's actually, he's actually gonna do. And because that's my man's, I just gotta let you go through it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta really realize like, we know our friends, we know our friends. Right. You know what I mean? And I genuinely like having conversations with Jay regardless. That's right. why I'm on this fucking podcast. Right. So. I can learn from the wait, conversation. Wait, make this shit about me. Like, what the fuck is going on? <sighs> you brought it up, so you're going to be the nigga. I tried <laughs> to go to him about his girlfriend, but I can't write back to you and yours. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, like, it's just certain people, you know what I mean? Like, even though we're talking about something, and yeah, you may not listen, and you might do your own thing. The conversation is healthy. Mm. And you may not use that advice in that moment, mm. but later on, after finding out the things that you did try, and you really felt that way, because you didn't listen to your niggas, all right, maybe I just should do what my niggas say. It could work that way. So the conversation never goes out the window, because you're a person who genuinely loves information. I feel mm -hmm. like all information, of all three of us, all information is very important to have, regardless of when you use it, you're gonna use it, I feel like, especially mm -hmm. if you believe in it, go back to trusting your friends, trusting people's opinion. That's the reason you ask certain people certain questions, mm -hmm. because you know you'll learn from them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't wanna be around nobody I can't learn from. That's a fact. Period. Stars, you never answered the question, like where, where did you learn man code from? Well, as, as uh, well, first of all, my mother, I'm gonna say first, you know what I mean? My mother and my grandmother, you know what I mean? My, fa my pops was on the road, he drove trucks for real. He was one of them dads, dads that, um, you know, what you need, what, what, what you need? I mean, get me fresh, got me PlayStation. Every system ever came out, my dad got, you know what I mean? I respect mm. it because some people have different ways of loving. My dad talked to me all the time, you feel me? He was my authority. He's who I looked at as a man who, like, if I got in trouble, no, I ain't trying to go to my dad's house because my dad's strict. My dad was that nigga, you feel me? Like, I don't fuck around. And that's the kind of the energy I liked from him because mm. my mom was soft, but she was hard on me too. But when I really started fucking up, I was scared to go with my pops. Cause I didn't want to be over there in a strict fucked up situation for real cause <laughs> he was authority. So right. it's certain type of things, but he wasn't around to be my dad dad. Mm. And they weren't married, so I couldn't, he did what he could and I love him for that. But my mom was heavy for me, like heavy. Like my mother and me been together since my father left, stopped being my mother when I was three. You know what I mean? Mm. And like, it's just been me and her my whole life. Yep. So every, expect, every experience, every question, every answer, my mother's 60, about to be 65. So she's older like Jay's mom. So mm. like, a older woman has a whole different mind state on what a man is. Mm -hmm. And growing up with that mind state, of her telling you what men should do, men should not, I learned how to, you know, open car doors, of course, make sure women are walking inside the sidewalk and not towards the street, you know, in case a car comes, you'll die. Whoever thought that was cool. But you know, <laughs> shit like that, you Kill know what us. I'm saying? Fuck Kill it. us first and let the, the women leave. But I'm saying little things like that my mother taught me, but you know, OGs from around the way, mm -hmm. you feel me? I, I was doing my little thing in the streets. I played ball, so a lot of the hood shit, niggas just let me hoop, you know what I mean? But you know, I grew up around that shit. I was sitting on a green on 25th or Hoffa Road or, you know what I mean? Shout out to back in the day with Steve-O and, and, and all the niggas down off, off Hoffa Road. I was sitting on them porches watching a bunch of shit I never even knew of. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot of shit from his father or, or like what to do or like the gun shit or the respect shit or, or, or what not to say or, I mean, it's just so much I learned from being around certain type niggas but that I cherished because I, I wouldn't have learned that from my mother. You know That's what I'm saying? Fact. And I feel like it's really, the best part about this, I'm gonna just talk real quick. The best part about that situation I was in, I think Jay's too, learning from both different sides is the best way to do it because the two men we are because of it, I'm good in any hood, I'm good in any fucking event with white people. You know what I mean? For a lack of better, uh, you know, right. culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how to, hey man, yeah man, you know what I'm saying? It's really nice out, yeah, you know? We're gonna learn today, yeah, it's man. 
God's good, you know? This right. Hey, what's up, my nigga? You know the fuck it is. I don't really play right. around that dumb ass shit, man. You need to stop fucking playing with me, yeah. man. What's up, nigga? You look I good, think- boy. It's just two different sides that are beautiful because, excuse me, it's beautiful because you can really have it. And it, I think a lot of niggas don't have both of them. They either hood as shit or they county ass. But to hear, to hear what you said, right, it's mm-hmm. crazy because like what came from that for me, the first thing I thought about was man code is really subjective amongst men. Mm-hmm. But it's not subjective amongst women because as with women, a man is supposed to be a man regardless. But mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the niggas that we learned man code from in the hood is always man code until it's always man code until you don't fuck with a nigga. Mm. Think about it. The niggas in the hood did some grimy shit to some niggas. Yeah. But because they ain't fuck with them. Right? We seen a lot of niggas ran off on the plug. That ain't man code, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? Like taking a nigga, like you feel like a lot of things that niggas did to niggas when they ain't fuck with them. What man code, but when it comes to women, right? Our parents, our moms mm-hmm. taught us one way to be a man and one way to be a man only. It was never if, like you can say, for example, let's say if you break up, you don't out, you don't out somebody on a, on a, on Instagram. I learned it from like on, on the internet or whatever. I learned it from my moms, right? Like a nigga, I'm about to pull up on this nigga, fuck this nigga up. You know what I'm saying? Like your moms teach you, just walk away, fuck it. I say fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But that's what your moms taught you. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I feel like because my niggas, I'm ready to go. I feel like I'm not even gonna say it's universal, but I feel like that's the transition between kind of old mindset and new mindset. Mm. Like, it's really hard. It's not that I don't enjoy social media. It's no, just really loud? hard to. I'm sorry. What you saying? Is that loud? I got it's, work and I, I got work all right, but I'm about to say our shit. This shit should be good. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean to do that. No, you cool. I I was like, it's hard for me to deal on social media because even though I be wanting to have stuff to say. Right. I just be feeling like there's, there's a real big part of me that goes, nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, like, I grew up in the world of shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, being nah, around no, a fact, bunch nah, of dudes nah, all nah. day long every day. Facts. Niggas be like, Jay, you talk too much. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, and like, when my it comes to me in social media, you like, like, my bad. That's what, I mean, that's what niggas supposed to do. Yeah, I'll be like, all right, let me, let me chill, my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Or you getting too emotional or you too happy. Like, like but, I grew up in a father. I had a father in my life and I still mm-hmm. do every day, nigga. Like, he's a fucking lunatic. But at the mm-hmm. end of the day, like, the, the the number one thing with him is all about like he's steady. He's the same every day. Like he he got a routine. And he stick to it like a robot. You know what I mean? And one of the main things that has always been there is just like, yo, provide, do your job, don't complain, mm-hmm. stop crying, facts, man the fuck up, do what you got. Damn, do. that's crazy because I think you yo, know what I mean. It's crazy because like all of the problems that I hear like that I have with women or whatever the case may be is like the opposite of that, and that would make sense. Right, because I feel like a man taught is like, yo, stop complaining. Right. right, like that's what niggas hate. Like, yo, why are you complaining? Like, right. stop telling. Right. Like, you feel me? Don't express your feelings, my nigga. Yeah. Suck it up and deal exactly. with it. Exactly, but that's what we were taught as men. So right. when we get it from our counterparts, right. our woman is like, tell us what's going on. Bro, Open up to us. Me like, but we was taught, nigga, drink on your own. But not time. even that. But like, drown but yourself they, in your souls on your own. But time they do that complain. though. They complain, right? And that was like because we wasn't taught to complain. It's right. like it's a problem now because mm. it's a clash of worlds. And mm-hmm. I feel like, but I feel like it's it, the worst part about all this is we taught this for so long. We try to run with this idea. Mm. This is how it's supposed to be. It's and I feel like this fact. is what happened to me. This, this, this is what comes to um, you know, coming out being a man, doing this. You gotta be like this. Be this hard nigga. Be this way, and then don't show emotions. Then it's a, uh, you know what I mean? Oh, we don't affect. I'm, I'm hold your hand in public and all this stuff. No, I ain't about to do all. You feel me? Like little stuff like that. It was like, no, I'm, I'm manly. I'm this, and then we get so older, and that's not really who we are. Mm. So like, I got to a certain age where. Fucking affection is something I love the most of. Mm. I need. A, I want my woman on me at all the time. I want her to be this touching me all the time, I coming by. Me. I need that. Now, were you like that seven years ago? Hold seven. that thought. Hold that. Hold that thought. Mm-hmm. It's like I wasn't. I just got into that. I just got into you know. What I mean, expressing myself and, and saying how I truly feel and all this stuff because I've been held in for so long. But when I finally tried this out, it's like, damn. This was kind of good. I feel like myself. I feel like I'm open. I feel like I'm no longer living behind this wall. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm truly myself. And that took a while for me to be. I mean, y'all know me. I did music a long time. I was chasing fads and sounds for a while. I'm trying to make it my own. Mm-hmm. And, ten, and I didn't really get success until I just did something totally different. First song I got on was a pop song. You know what I'm saying? Just to bring it in on some other shit. Right, it's right. It's like sometimes we got to truly do what we want to do and live with that exact. If you, you know, yeah, you soft and then you always something. But if that's who you truly are and you like expressing yourself, that person who call you soft just not a nigga for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We need to start normalizing. I'm normalizing. Look at the mm-hmm. word I made up. <laughs> normalizing. What the fuck? Normalizing. Um, you know, recognizing who we are mm. 
and surrounding ourselves around people who act or believe in the same things we do right. so that we can grow and become the best us sooner. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to be a 30 year old man figuring this out. More so right. than being somebody that I could just be around my niggas and, and just be true right. to myself. And I could have been further off because my circle would have been different seven years ago. Right. Mm. If I may jump in, of like course. one of the things that I didn't learn until my late 30s is that a lot of things that were being said to me as a child, the whole like shut up, don't complain, stuff like that. It was my dad wasn't trying to tell me don't talk to him about problems. Not to express your feelings. He wasn't right. saying He's not saying don't express your feelings. He was saying, yo, don't drag on. Don't. Challenging waste a whole lot of time differently. just whining about it. Yo, come to me, son, what's the problem? Yo, dad, I had this problem, that problem, this problem. Cool. Let's fix it. You should do this, just do that. Let's fix it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is sometimes because you're, I mean, I, I don't, I, for me, my father was, like you said, an authority figure. Mm -hmm. He was Superman. Yeah. So like when he say some crazy, when he say some shit, and especially when he say it with that tone and that authority, I kind of don't want to try to understand what he's talking about. I just try mm -hmm. to say, all right, well, let me shut up. Let me move on. But as you get older, it comes down to you understanding that it is very important for you to embrace your emotions. Yeah. It's very important to open up about something, but open up about it in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we don't understand like young men versus the older men, like young men get into, I'm in the emotional place and I'm just complaining ah, nah, 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 versus saying, yo, coming and sitting down and saying, look, I got a problem. And this is the problem. And I go, all right, let's talk about it. And then we we talk through the problem and we get to a solution or a way out. And I, and I think I um I want to uh, take some time to uh, say I appreciate the, the relationship you guys have with your fathers or whatever, right? Because that made me realize that, yeah, you might not have to have your father in your life, right? Right. But I played sports, so I have many role models in mm -hmm. my life. You get what I'm saying? So like all my role models taught me the same thing when it came to sports. And I think, and okay, no, no, I want you to finish. I'm sorry. I think that's why, and not to make this a man versus woman, I think, but it's not, but I'm going to say just, I think that's why a lot of people need to get more involved into sports though, because a mm. lot of men aren't in their child's life. I, I, it is what it is. It is what it is. But when you play sports, I think that responsibility or that role model, you, you get replaced. The they, they replace their coach replaces the role model. The right. masculinity around mm -hmm. that too. Right. I mean, you you you're, you're now in a team full of mm -hmm. team full of men. You're the coaches that are mm -hmm. men. You're around men mm -hmm. who are trying to but show you, you how to be, to be man. responsible too. And, and held to be responsible. Man, woman. Man you get a bigger understanding that what your actions are have a consequence to everybody else. Yep. So what you do affects your team. How you perform affects your team. And when you're living in a world full of people, you gotta understand that what you do affects other people, whether you know it or not. True. You know what I'm saying? You knock a nigga out or you decide not to knock somebody out, you walk away, you're being strong, you're being weak. Somebody's watching you. Let me tell you something, Daryl, the biggest thing is being in a big ass family, but having a lot of young people under me. Yo, it's so surprising when my nieces and my nephews come to me and say, talk about some shit that I did from 15 years ago. And it sticks with them so much. Oh, uncle, I remember that one time you came and scooped me up and took me here. And I don't even remember the shit, mm -hmm. but it meant everything to them. Mm -hmm. Your actions and your reactions and how you do things affect people. And sometimes it affects people forever. And it becomes important to you now at that point, once you start realizing that, mm -hmm. you start being more intention, intentional about your steps and what you do. And to me, that's the most important part about being a man. Because you're the, you could either be the head of your friendship group you could be the head of your your relationship. You got to be the head of your family. At some point, there's responsibilities that are going to fall on you, regardless of whether you want them or not. You have to be ready to deal with that. But you know what's also dope about that, man, is, is or is, is unique about that is being a man is understanding the role you play. Mm -hmm. Right? Like in any position, even if like, I know that if I come to the studio with stars, I'm not about to be the head and you're not about to rap? charge. You're not going to drop a verse? Even if I do drop a verse, I'm not about to be the head and nigga in charge because that's that's stars world. You get what I'm saying? And I'm gonna mm -hmm. listen. I'm gonna mm -hmm. take a step back. Even mm -hmm. if I got an idea, if I don't agree, I'm be like, all right. You get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's is where I know that I, I'm. That's not me. Where I'm at right now. Shut the fuck up and listen. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, and like, also appreciating that. Like even like this. Like I don't do this. You feel me? This is something that you made me feel comfortable with doing. Mm -hmm. But this is also a world that you run. This your shit. I'm gonna always say like I'm. I'm we tell me something or. Yeah, I have to take it in consideration because you genuinely know what you're doing. You know what I mean? And I genuinely am trying to learn. And it's okay to like me be the, the man in the world I'm in, come into your world where you the man, and we can still share the and same thing. So and I still dope, have my though. same identity as who I am. And that's in your the world. unique part about it though. Like we can be the man 
in our own world, world. and come right. together and still right. play an important part. And it doesn't make him less less mm. powerful or special or important as you, and it doesn't demote you. And or, I, but I was about to say that. But, but the same thing, though. Like, you got to even being in a position, understanding that where you at and how you carry yourself. Facts. Right? Because you can... Some people... Like, some people are weird. We know that, right? You can carry it as you that man, but you will not never get the respect of being that man because you're not supposed to carry it like that, right? Mm. It's your presence. You get, what know it. you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I think that's the dope part about it as well. So it's like, yeah, you can understand or people can give you your flowers or whatever the case may be, but don't get it fucked up. Don't ever think for a second it totally revolves around you because you need, you need, you need it. You get what I'm saying? Like, don't get it fucked up. Mm-hmm. I think. I, I want I want to flip off of that is that there are times and places and I'm going to use stars as an example because he's the greatest, in my example, one of the greatest. It's like, He's an immensely talented person, probably mm-hmm. more talented than ninety percent of the people that's in our hometown. Love for you know what I'm saying. Now he may not be res- he may not be outwardly praised for that, but that's only because either that a the people don't see it, or b the people that do see it have not figured out a way to put that nigga where the place that he needs to be. Mm-hmm. But it's incumbent upon him to always keep that confidence, to keep his skill level high. And to always put his best foot forward. So when the time is right, that nigga's going to launch the way he's supposed to launch. You know, and that's one see. of the reasons Appreciate why, it. like, and real niggas are going to recognize the realness in him and give him you his know. respect. I don't give a fuck what people tell me about stars. Mm. That nigga's always been an ill nigga to me. Mm. And the thing is, you want to know why? It's because ever since the first time I met the nigga, first of all, he ain't never had the, my first interview with stars, he came to my house. Mm. He didn't have to come to my house. I was in the mm-hmm. hood too. I was in the hood hood. I had a deal he too. pulled up with him and another <laughs> nigga. Like, and I know somebody had a burner on him. But yeah. I was happy that the nigga came. <laughs> he was affable. He was open. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he was respectful, but he still was confident. Man. You know what I mean? And before you jump in, when you keep moving like that, let the people see that as, oh, you arrogant or you a dickhead. Mm-hmm. Or it's like, no, my nigga. He just know who he is. Mm-hmm. He know what his skill set is. And he's not going to let nobody take him off of that shit. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why I respect him. And the fact that he keeps the quality high. People like Jay Hill, same thing. Like, as a man in man code, mm-hmm. a real man can recognize another real man mm-hmm. and respect that. Yeah. You can be like... You don't like the way the nigga dress, or you may not like how you approach it, but that's not your business to give a fuck about that. Mm-hmm. As long as that nigga doing him, I respect that it's man. The respect you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Like we all have our things that we are strong at in our own individual levels. We just learn how to re- just respect that shit. That's it is what it is, my nigga. And wait. I was gonna say, you know what's crazy? I can't wait for the day because I know it's gonna come. I was at the club the other day, and the nigga was like, "Yo, you do the podcast," and for me, you know. I'm used to that on like the freestyle tip. Like, mm-hmm. Niggas are like, yo, you do the freestyle and shit like that? Yeah. Like, yo, you do the podcast. I'm like, yo, this is wild. But that's yeah. good though. I'm, I can't wait to the day to a nigga come to Stars and be like, yeah, bro, like your music is dope, bro. I found, like, I first started following you. Father. He gets that shit. I first, yeah. no, 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 not he that though. No, 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 not that. They're going to be like, they gonna be like, yo, your music is dope, bro. Like, I first started following you through the podcast and I saw ah! your music. Look, let's go. Let's, <laughs> look, let's, let's, get, look, look that's real shit. <laughs> that happens, though. Real shit. Like, even though the reality show was on, like, mm-hmm. nobody who watched that show knew how they music, so they followed me and it was like, hella messages. Oh my God, you do music? All the and same thing with the technology. Shit. Like, but it's important, as we all know, is to stay confident. I'm glad you said it too, because consistent and confident, especially in the world we in as men, and I'm gonna say this about as men, it is hard as, I know women say it's hard for them, it's definitely hard for women, but being a man is really difficult in this world, yes, being a black is. man. One, yes, because you are, we are all looked at as failures to the culture if we're not looking like a rapper, like bro, on some real shit. Man, like, fuck them niggas. No, 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 no this, so right, bro. this is real shit. This no, is it's real, real but it's Because women, fuck. even this whole like Birkin thing and like the dinner date things and, and dress who, how you want to be a keep up with that? Men. Men gotta keep up with that. Like these women, they're dressing like this, and no, yeah, we, we talk about how they outfits. But that's that's from an old. That's, I think that's from an older mentality because I understand what you're saying. Because even even like think about it like this. I'm not even gonna lie. Even down to, I don't say shit, y'all niggas. Even down to somebody disrespecting you in public, it's mm-hmm. like you gotta hold a certain persona about you to be a man. And it's yeah. like sometimes I'm not gonna lie. It's been a lot of fights. I didn't even want to fight. But you felt like the respect. But it's like, saw it. You like, you know, oh I ain't no God, bitch. It's like, nigga, like, disrespecting oh me. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, now I got it. It's like, shit. Like, I, I, why you? <laughs> like, why you, it's like, yo, why you made me do this? I don't even want to do this. It's like, you disrespecting me in public, bro. Like, we call you, I know we call you. Right? It's like, damn. <laughs> 
It's like, I don't even want to do this. got these shoes. Facts. Bro, think about it. I think I just met a girl in public. It's like, ah. That's different. What the fuck? That's different. That's different. But that's what I'm talking about. That's real. It's like, yo, man, it's man. That's man things. Like, if you if you let nigga. So you was a bitch ass nigga. You, you can be like, call me a bitch ass nigga all day. I'm cool. But if you disrespect my girl, I'm going to fucking kill you. But they, if a nigga like, come to you and you and your girl and say you a bitch ass nigga from your girl. That's cool. You can call me. Nah, 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 I'm just don't nah, nah, disrespect nah, nah, my girl. Nah, nah, that's lie. the only time I really though. do fight. Nah, I'm, not not gonna gonna lie. Lie. I'm not gonna lie. That I might walk away from that. If a nigga call me a bitch from my girl, like, cause it's me. But if you disrespect my girl, was like, I feel like there is disrespect. No, I have to. I have to in public. A nigga calling, uh, 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 coming at you on some like you a bitch ass nigga shit, and you that with your girl. Your girl. What do you think your girl feeling like girl while you getting? Know I ain't no bitch yeah, ass yeah, nigga, yeah, yo. Damn. What do you think your girl is feeling while you getting? Yeah, in your damn. face on some old bitch ass nigga. My girl type probably shit. gonna be the first one to want to swing on a nigga, but that's that's just, that's number one. And number two, my girl gonna be like, man, get this fucking. But in the in the case, that's in but, the but, woman you but, with. But but in the case now, because I'm with stars, I'm with, I'm with both of them though. In the case, she's not turning up. And a she's nigga sitting there like this. Because I'm not. No, no, because that's that's, a, a, that's, a, that's a, in the case that she's not turning no, no, up. Think about it. Think about now it. you got to whoop some no, ass. Think, think about it. Because think about it. When she that's a that's a that's a that's a escape route. That's an easy way out. Because once she turned up, look, baby, we need you. Look, you look, you on with my you girl. Go, shit. You, you, you saying we good? We good, baby. You don't got to do that. But imagine if your girl like I want to see what this nigga going. Right, right. Like she the whole time he calling you a bitch. She like this. <laughs> That's when it's time to break up, Bang. nigga. That's, That's the time to break up. No, like, yo, it, come on, my nigga. Come it depends, on. bro. No, because I feel love like women I'm not saying you fight. Go to jail over some stupid but no shit. bro that's what i'm saying that's why i said that's i said I'm society and culture yes. i'm not talking about personal i'm talking yes. about what men feel is what they had to do men do a lot of shit i'm gonna say everything for the case of women i can't think of nothing i do that i don't do i agree in with hopes that. of no, women no, no, not i agree with that but I'm not, I'm not gonna allow you it's to hit that, that to the main subject it's of. some shit that i do for myself <sighs> okay all right <laughs> what you do for yourself yo tell the me podcast, you... i love this shit it's not for a woman. And, and you know what? It's I'm, not for a woman. What is your man? What, what is your what? What is your main fan base, Jay? I ain't gonna lie, bro. What's your main fan base? It's 50, women. Fifty right now. It's not. It was. I ain't gonna. I'm but a, yeah, all right. Let's I can give you the, the, give you the let, numbers. Let's, let's, let's get into some other shit, yo. Okay. I am significantly way more and bigger than y'all two niggas. Like you gotta understand. Anytime I get into a fight, it's automatically my fucking fault, my nigga. Like niggas always look at me like I'm an instigator, man, no matter what. Stop the situation crying, because anytime I get in a fight, it's my fault. And I just don't be around because shit with niggas your fault. with no, do shit or say shit. Yo, <laughs> you, yo you be teeing off on niggas like, yo, I'm talking yeah, about- Yeah, yo, I don't know nobody who pop more, hit niggas more niggas first probably than you. Fast. Bro, because I understand- You the tee off, you the tee off king. Do y'all understand that I, un bro, a lot of times I tee off because I ain't trying to get tee off you got off a Napoleon on. complex. It's not, no, it's not. I don't have Napoleon, bro. I be, y'all don't, bro, so the stars, small. no, star, stars was, I don't give a fuck. Stars was there firsthand. When a nigga was wilding on me, my girl was right there and I chilled. What I'm saying is a lot of times, it be times where I really be trying to walk away. But if you post a threat to me, then I'm gonna pop off because I know you can hit me in a, you can hit me in the, the worst place and I can be asleep now I'm on World Star. So nah, I ain't going that's for that. The thing. If nobody, you can hit me anyway, I'm not passing out, bro. You don't know Jay, that, bro. You I'm don't gonna be know real that. with you. You don't know that. We a nigga try, on on can, a, on the good foot. We can try this today if necessary. Like, if you're not paying attention to a nigga, if you looking at him right now, having a conversation, a nigga can knock you out. A nigga out, come bro. full force, three steps in. It could be the that's your shit. Different. But it's that's not what I'm different, saying, bro. Oh my god. If you we, argue, now we talk about two niggas versus no, one nigga. No, no, I'm talking about you having a conversation, not knowing you about to get hit. Yeah, you get hit with a strength of a nigga knowing he gonna hit you. One, you gonna fall, and two, you might pee on you yourself. You wanna see that and shit three, before no, if, a nigga, if a nigga cocking back on you like that, and you no, looking at bro, the nigga, you gonna turn into it, Jay. You don't know. Turn into what? I'm, first of all, I, if I'm having an argument with a nigga, I'm never turning my back from that no, dude. No, we talking about, yo, you never know, bro. You if a nigga, know, bro. bro, if a nigga hits you the wrong way, bro, he can put you to sleep. So all I'm saying you is- You can see this shit coming, bro. No, you don't. Bro, all right, all right, say we, be, say we argue not? right now. Listen, Are you not looking at this nigga in his face? You walk in the club, you walk in the club, we walk in the club, you bump a nigga when we first get in there. Y'all get a little, I like, I like. Listen, Jay. And the nigga like, hey, yo, okay, you come on, y'all go back and forth. And he like, you know what, my, you know what, it ain't worth all that, yo, my bad. You be like, all right, yo, do 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 do. Y'all, you in the club for an hour and a half. An hour go by, you drinking, you chilling with your niggas. You not worried about nigga that you bumped into when you first walked in there because supposedly everything cool, right? Whole time he like, I got that nigga later. You at the bar, you chilling, you talking to Jay this way. This nigga coming this way. You not thinking about nobody hitting you because that's not what happens, right? Full force, three steps, right hand, 
you going down. All and that's, that's okay. why, and that's what I'm saying. Everybody in my situations, bro. Everybody that can happen. It ain't the so, fact that I'm trying to tee off versus this, this bro. You trying to protect yourself? It, yeah, yes. yeah, that's it. I, I swear, okay. I'm not. I'm not trying to be no bully. I ain't trying to be no instigator. I'm just saying we arguing. My my first job, and I said starts getting touch of this, bro. I'm trying to eliminate the problem. And if anything, as a man, we can talk. Even if I don't know you, like I've had so many random. I feel like y'all both seen it. So many random posts in my in my in my DM talk about how I'm nice shit because post because uh, I ain't getting niggas on the show. I talk to these niggas like, bro. First of all, if you want a response, bro, don't come at me like this. But mm. second of all, I don't mind talking to you. Mm. And niggas be like, you should ignore it. The, I'm real shit. Same situation we was in the, in the elevator. And niggas, while, while he was drunk, I could have easily got the best of him. But I'm like, bro, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like he was drunk. Like I, I, not even. I don't know. We could have fought. Whatever. I'm saying he was drunk. I feel like I was kind of sober. Whatever. What I'm saying is, I just feel like a lot of times I do be trying to back down. But again, for me. It be certain situations where I'm a fight. Like if a nigga take his watch off, I'm not waiting for you to take your watch off. If a nigga, I, I don't know if a no, nigga no, tuck no, no, his chain no, no. in, and that, that's different. But that's what I'm saying. But, but that's showing chain you. In, that's showing you. Nigga that somebody, somebody take <laughs> he looked me up and down one time. That's all I need. Bro. You feel if a nigga step back, and if I, a nigga size me up, I'm right? In so when nigga say I teed off, I, I'm teed off the most. It's not that. It's just bro. You gotta understand that I, I'm very, um, fucking. Whatever, I, I watch my peripherals, all that shit. So even though I'm with stars, right? And if I see a nigga like stirring at stars, right? Stars might not even know it. So a mm -hmm. lot of my fights just like niggas don't even know. If stars might not know it, right? So next thing you know, stars see me tee off on a nigga. He like, what the fuck, Jay? I been peep. You know what I'm saying? So like, I ain't just but no crazy what's nigga. What's supposed to happen niggas. is you supposed to inform a nigga, yo, this nigga looking crazy crooked. Nigga, keep keep an eye out. You know I what I mean? I feel you. Or you tap your other man's and be like, yo, keep an but eye I'm out. I'm saying, like, like even, even when we was in DC when I was with Shadi and her friend, right? The nigga was trying to talk to Jazz. I'm like, bro, look, they good. He's like, man, what's, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, look, in all due respect, bro, you don't know which one I'm with, bro. You just try to talk to the girl. That's true. That's disrespectful. He tried to turn up what you turned out. I'm like, bro, listen, man, I don't want no problems. You feel me? So again, I said it like three times, and then I smacked the nigga with the fucking napkin thing. Me, if I'm fighting, first of all, there's no rules, one. And God forbid, I just hope God keep his hands on me. All I'm saying, bro, is no rules. And I'm not trying to fight. I'm not on, I'm not no nigga that's, that's, Yo, I'm not no nigga that's trying to fight. Y'all making But this, this also comes, I mean, we understand these, these layoffs and conversations, but we just all come down to just growing up and understanding the different environments we really need to be in. Because we are true. definitely we, growing we up in places. We be in the hood. We be in the hood. These ideas and things and ball, and ball, we think about, these ball, we in Golden Dragon acting like we got to have a nice conversation with nigga through, after a bump in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? It's not going to happen. That's you know, niggas is definitely getting killed at Golden Dragon because yeah. they doing too much. So it's like, I say that they say, now that the age you are in, you go into different spots with more mature people. It's not really a bunch of riff yeah. raff as you used to be. That's a fact. And I'm very, I'm very conscious about where I go. And I'm, I'm the type of nigga where I, I'll be ready to leave before I eat. Yeah, I leave, bro. I just feel like y'all made this an intervention. I don't like it. It's not an intervention, nigga. Like Only thing I'm trying to tell you is, is that I've been able you. to avoid a whole mess of shit because I don't even let shit even get to that point. I'm willing to bow down and be like, yeah, I'm a bitch ass nigga. But back to what we said, that shit don't mean nothing. Nah, nah, so, 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 but, but, talk, but that's man. I so mean, that's what I'm about to say. I will. I, I'm not, bro, I didn't say I'm cool. I'm a bitch cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Back, I'm a bitch. I'm the biggest but bitch I've ever lived. It is hard for men because if you with your woman, right, mm. and a nigga disrespects you and your woman don't turn up, because I, I want to make this very clear because. If your woman turn up, that's an easy escape. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't think people know that. If your woman turn up, it's like, babe, chill. We ain't you on can that. You grab her and run out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> and then you can say, good job, babe, because you, you saw that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but, but the moment, in the moment, it's hard for niggas because in the moment, I don't know about y'all, but me, I'm, man, I'm a pride. You just don't do shit yeah, like I got, that. Yeah, I got I'm, nigga, I'm a I nigga pride. pride. Too, you know? uh, so if a nigga turn up on me and my girl right there, I'm like, fuck. And I think that's the difference. I it's mean, like, like shit, me, she don't turn up. My pride she's is looking thinking. for you. She like, yeah. what you gonna do, nigga? Yeah. You had all that. He left said in the you house. a bitch ass nigga, nigga. You had all that left in the house with me, and now this nigga disrespects you. What you gonna do, nigga? And I'm gonna tell oh, you, if you don't too. bring your stupid ass on, nigga, I ain't trying to die today. Cause I with y'all, and then when I get home, I curse ass out. What the fuck is you trying? But you ain't curse that nigga out. So what? I ain't with that nigga. <laughs> Cause I don't know what that nigga got. He might have got a knife, a gun, or whatever, nigga. Like hey. we out here in the unknown world, my nigga. Learn how to conduct yourself. Speak, speaking nigga, of that, like, yo, speaking of that, right? And we gonna stay on this. It been hard for niggas, but speaking of that, an old head talk. Cause you, you're old head. You, you the oldest. You. I love like you. Oldest, oldest on the pod. Bro, you my, you my, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 my yeah. mentors, bro. Shut up. But what I would say is, bro, an old, a old head told me this, and I'm, I gotta make these disclaimers. Again, this is easier said than done. done. So an old head came to me. He was like, bro, I was telling him how like I got jumped by like mad niggas cause they try to rob me with a BB gun or whatever, right? And like, I, I wasn't going for that shit. Like I knew it was a BB gun, so I wasn't going for that. We was fighting, got my ass whipped by a mad nigga. Shout out to my nigga Day Day from the, from the projects, right
nigga can rob me with a with a with a with a knife, a gun, whatever. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna get my shit back. My phone, I can get that back. If a nigga stab me in the wrong place, I can die. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's not worth it. And, and when he said that, I'm like, damn. But at the moment, me being a young dumb nigga, I'm like, man, I'm not about to rob me with no fucking BB gun. I ain't no pussy. But I had to understand that, like, bro, like you said. You never know what a nigga got, mm-hmm. right? You never, you never know. Like, it's you don't not know who work. around the corner, who behind you, or whatever. You don't know who with who, and you don't never know when shit can turn from one to ten. That's a fact. And then you like fuck, and now your girl. And then this is the worst thing. What if you was to get prideful and your girl get fucked up in the process, mm, and or, she's not thinking about it because she's an emotional being. So the thing is, you have to be, you have to think. The for crazy everybody. thing about this is, is if you fight. And like you do right by it, you win, you feel me? You the man and everything, right? But if you lose or oh my if God. you lose. <laughs> but if you lose. And if you lose the fight, bro, in front of your girl on some one-on-one shit, yo, I don't think I don't think no woman gonna ever feel 100 percent comfortable so, with you. So I, I, I'm gonna say I don't know. I'm gonna tell you why. But but besides that, I wanna say this. But if you get hurt yeah. or stabbed yeah. or whatever, that's worse. What's the first thing your girl say in the hospital? You should have walked away. Right. You should have walked away. Well, but bitch, I, was I say, didn't because you was looking at me the whole time he was calling me so a bitch. So only, only, <laughs> only thing I say, I, I don't, for me, it might be different. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I, like, I might get some, well, hopefully I'll get some benefit of the doubt because, like, I done had a lot of fights. You feel me? Like, you got oh, yeah, yeah. to lose one. Like, yeah, I'm def- I definitely, let me, I won about, can I, can I ask a little side question? 8% of my Like, I, I like, I won a lot wow. of, I caught some L's. No, I did, I did too. I'm, I'm 75%, bro. Like, I might have, I mean, you told about 7 more percent, like you just, uh, like you made nah, it. So, so me, I might be, <laughs> no, so, I'm saying, I've got my ass whooped. So a lot of people, most of my fights, I, I mean, a lot of my fights, I don't be trying to hit first. Yeah. Cause I be thinking it ain't that big, and then, and then I might get snuck or something. And that's why you sixty eight, yeah. and that's why I ain't yeah, trying to be sixty eight. I lost every fight I lost. I definitely got hit first. So that's what I'm saying. So I, that's <laughs> what, but that's why I'm saying. That's why I say for me, you feel me? I think I might have some. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll have some benefit of the doubt because my track record is pretty good. Yeah, I got some. So I if got, I got my yeah. ass whooped in front of my shorty, hopefully she will understand. Like, yeah, this don't happen. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> The little fight another day, hit ass. <laughs> <laughs> she probably still ain't trying that. She'll be there like, Jake it up. <laughs> like, 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 you know what happened? You know how all my friends, my, all my friends got the this, these same stories about me, like Jay fighting da 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 da. She was like, shit. Well, I saw he got his ass put. I don't know what the fuck y'all. <laughs> she got the oh, nigga on Instagram wow. and everything. This nigga right here did it. <laughs> on some gambit right. shit. Like, nigga gonna have two hundred followers and follow five thousand people. She followed, she followed a nigga on Twitter. Like, <laughs> he actually pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you had to break up with Shorty after that. Oh yo. no, you definitely the relationship do. is dead hey, after yo, that, my nigga. Yeah, I, I just, I think, I think we need to normalize maybe taking an L in front of your girl, I guess. But um, no, I we mean, no, you all should just normalize aside. taking an L in general. But it's nigga. not an L though. I think we need to normalize changing our perspective on how we see it because it's not an L. Facts. You getting your ass whooped not an L. No, walking away is not an L. No, no, no. I'm saying he's saying getting your ass whooped. Let's normalize everybody. You're not gonna win everything. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Win everything. And, and not feeling like oh, I gotta jump off a building because I lost a fight. But that goes back to what he said though, bro. It is really hard to be a man in a society today because yeah. why again, is that? You, are you, is your are you, are you honestly yo? Is your manhood truly tied into the win of or loss of a fight? No, it's it's random it's, ass no, night. It, your it, manhood's it is. tied into women. Yo, it's tied. Yeah. So and uh, the fact that you're not understanding that is kind of wild. But not, but not your because manhood. I don't define my manhood up, by no even, by, by even, women even, and what they think or what they feel. Let's change it. Let's change it. Your manhood is defined by perception because yes. a lot of times people's perception is their reality. So again, if in perception, in, in the world that we in, unless you're just dealing with a woman that's not from the areas that we are from, right? Which is a lot of times not really the case because a lot of these women grew up, they look good, they, they but they came from where we came from too. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. If unless we're dealing with somebody that's, that's not from that, that area, bro, a lot of times when we in these situations, they have an expectation of how we're supposed to handle ourselves. Let me, let me, let me ask you this question. Have you ever had moments in your life that you've been ashamed of where you might have done something really fucked up? Yeah. Let's just say, like, I, I'll take you to this level and it make you make you feel more proud. I do. Have I do. you ever beat the shit out of somebody so bad that you really felt like, damn, I really went a little too far. I probably shouldn't have nah, because, done something or this nah, or whatever. Nah, nah. Okay. Well, I, I, but I, I have, I have I'll tell you the reality a, of who I, I am. Say, I, have, I have gotten into a fight and this is the whole DTLR thing. And I apologize to this nigga on stage in the club in front of a lot of people. Right. So, I have gotten to a situation where I'm like, man, maybe I I should have just read it differently. You know what I'm saying? So right, I will right. say that. I definitely will say that because like but that the, shit fucked me up. I was hurt. But the point I'm trying to make is is that 
you are a three dimensional individual. There are going to be times where you're going to do shit that may not be looked at as great in mm -hmm. the public eye. You might do some things that you might be the greatest person that ever. Like my thing is, is that I cannot live my life worrying about how people perceive me mm. because yo, I'm showing people so many sides of me on different days. Mm. I came on this podcast last week saying some toxic shit. Then the next week I say some positive shit. Yo, if a person going to judge me based off of a statement or a moment, but in, instead of the three dimensional person that I am, bro, you're going to live and die by the, by the Damn. bullshit that the world throws That's at right. you. You have to get to a place of, of being happy and satisfied with the person that you see in the mirror. But Jay, you had, you got to run your whole life. Said, down. Jay, can I tell you something? Yes, though? sir. Go ahead, bro. You're in your forties, bro. Hold up. Oh, real shit. No, shit. No, 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 I want to continue. It, it, Why does he yeah, keep yeah, doing nah, that? Nah, 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 Jay, no, 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 no. I look up to like you want to. Like, what I'm saying what is, I'm saying that you can't take the same information. I'm not. I'm not saying that I can't, bro. I'm not saying that I can't. And I appreciate it. Don't ever get it fucked up. What you're saying is some real shit. But in reality, the reality, like like we said, a lot of this shit is what we say is easier said it's than done. done. So what I'm saying is, bro, you in your forties, you you've been, you you learned this. You ain't just arrived here. No, no, you're right. You know what I'm saying you, you, right. you learned this. So I, I appreciate it, but you can't. And not saying you're judging, no. but you can't really point the finger and expect us to think the same way you thought when we're just getting, we're just going along the journey to arrive where you are. That's right. That's right. So like, and that's why when we say we can't, let, let's let's change this. It ain't hard in the world to be a man. It's hard in the world to be a young man, a young man, because Here sorry, go. I like that. go ahead. Do but it's, it's hard in the world to be a I'm young gonna man. I'm gonna let you get this off. We have so much pressure on us, bro. It's, it's so much pressure on us to be a provider, to mm -hmm. be a protector, to be Hercules. Like it's like, bro, I just want to live my life, like, love my bitch. I ain't trying to beef with nobody. Literally, I see this every day. I see this at least once a day. A post of some, you feel me? A post, a woman <clears throat> retweets or reposts, and it says. I don't need a man for anything, but I want a nigga to be able to give me something if I need it. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, Bitch. but it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, but, but it's like, I, I feel thing? like we need to start like, well, not when you start. I feel like that's like the it is for women. Women want to be independent, but at the same time, they want to take care of them. That's what a woman's, I thought I think fucked up about women right now is that's the middle ground they're really in. It's like, I want to do everything on my own, but then it's like, all right, these bitches taking trips, twerking, having fun, and niggas paying for it, shit, niggas paying. I want to do that too, though. But then I want to also take care of myself because I don't need no nigga. But also, I ain't giving out no pussy unless a nigga get a Birkin. Like, okay. what the fuck? Okay. What am so, I supposed to do? I work at fucking, you know what I'm saying? Birkin is 30000 That's my fucking... It's just ridiculous. What you're, what you're doing is you are coloring a picture of women that is real, is that women come to the table and have the ability to look at the world on a million different perspectives. Whereas when a man looks at the world, he looks at it through one perspective. One so the reason why men play the position that they play in a relationship is we play the stabilizer. Mm. The problem is a lot of times when you're younger, you don't know how to be stable because you're still trying to discover yourself. Mm. So like, I don't know how you guys are approaching relationships now, but like the thing in the last probably five or six years, six years of my life is when I meet somebody, I become, I immediately walk into it as, this is what I want, this is where I'm going, either you rocking with it or you not. Damn. The woman is going to fall in position if she wants it, she'll fall out if she doesn't. And the reason why is, is because women do want a million different things. And guarantee, when you land in bed, she's gonna tell you all 1,000 of those things that she wants. But the only thing you can do is, you laugh at the shit that's ridiculous, and you co-sign and you adopt what works. And then she's going to appreciate that and love that because she wants what you bring. She wants the stability. She understands that she's all over the place. She understands that she's emotional. She understands that all of this shit is going on, but she depends on you to, to stabilize. We're going here, honey. I know you want this. I know you want that. We can get this later. We can't get that. That's ridiculous. We going here. And then they're going to fall in line with what's right if she's a good Woman. But that's the day it was going to the good woman word because at the end of the day, niggas need to realize what women they're attracted to and which ones they can't and can't yeah. go to. Stop okay. trying to get the drunk that you know what you look like, fellas. Come yeah. on now. She you in the fine mirror. as hell, but she toxic you as fuck. Well. You ain't but had a care haircut like, two weeks. Stay, stay, stay in your lane. lane. Like, stay you see a joint up here. I mean, she got. Understand, you ain't dead. You yeah. ain't dead. And it's you okay. See her. She got Gucci bags. She in heels. She that got the red just, seats. That's not me. A body crazy. She got the she got the body in the in the in the, in the leather in a leather little one piece. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Got Looking BBL, good. Got BBL. You know, bro. You, you know that's not that your speed. Not you ain't yet. had a haircut in two weeks. 
You feel me? The white tea a little dingy. You feel me? Like I you mean, can't, that's, you that's can't a afford. Fact, you can't afford to go where she wants. And you right. can, you might can afford that two years from now, but right now, and that's not your speed. Let's take it speed. to a different level. It may not even be fashion or money. It could be intellect. Bro, if she's That's talking a on a too. whole different speed and level than you, you need to stay in where you at. A lot of niggas be trying to dip and dab, and you might catch a girl in a happy moment on a vulnerable moment, and she'll give you some. But no, play. she's gonna come out, out, out of that situation. <laughs> she's gonna be herself again. Gonna, so don't get it fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, right. but let me tell y'all the hardest part about this shit. That's crazy. This is what niggas do to fuck them up. Cause you might have enough game to get in that DM and get the number. Mm. You might have enough game to get the panties and fuck your shit. And Talk you might have enough shit. game to get that first date and get the panties. But yes, you know what sir. you don't got? The consistency to keep it up. Mm. So what you're doing is you're spending all your money, mm. you're spending all your time, Talk. and you're breaking yourself Talk. for a woman you can only afford for a month. And that's why, and that's why that's we real need shit. that when we, when we date women, right, we got to stop doing these extravagant dates. We have to. We got to start dating in our, in our limit because what happens is we do an extravagant date and we're setting a standard that we don't even have. You know no. what I mean? Yo, go, go, go. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. What I'm going to say is, is that not only you setting a standard that you don't have, but you're not being as creative as you probably could be because mm -hmm. you could take her out to the Arboretum or a conservatory or something like What's that. that? Sip and paint. The little place Look, in fucking the park where they got flowers heard of that shit. Like that shit is free, nigga. You can take it to the park, nigga. A museum you in D.C. You can take it to D.C., nigga. It's a zoo. It's free in D.C. And hella black, museums. It's $10. Hella black, 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 black museums. Like, no, bro, a lot of times niggas be spending when women just want to experience something with you. And once again, when you don't know the type of chick you're dealing with, you automatically you know, understand it is a chicken box and dick chick. And there's an experience, want to experience life with you, chick. You got a chicken box and dick chick, and then you got an experience and trip chick. We need to understand. You there's, a it is. there's a difference. There's a difference, bro. Because you take it to Ruth Chris the first date. Well, you think you got to take it a second? She ain't taking Fridays, nigga. You took exactly. it to the roof. You know? Next day, now you at Capitol. That's why I hated you last Now you down. You now you down bad during you can't the week. Take now, you hurt, and, 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 now you hurting. Hold you up, hold up. Two, Monday you let took me, out. Wednesday you took out. You hoping and Wednesday and night me, it worked because you ain't got no more money me, for the let third me not day. Let me not protect because you said I sometimes I'll be speaking for myself. That, mm -hmm. So I'm going to just be a nigga and speak myself. I feel like, and what happens is... <laughs> You do all this shit, right? <laughs> and now you build unnecessary resentment because she ain't do shit to you. Exactly. She's just expecting what you gave to her. Right. And exactly. now you resent this chick exactly. for nothing because it's like, because I ain't gonna lie, who is that type of guy? Like, I you take you out first? every place, you feel me? And then when you expect it, I'm like, you ungrateful. Man. And I'm like, I took you there one time. And she's like, well, that's what you gave me, nigga. Right. I ain't tell you to give me that. Like, if you a Fridays nigga, nigga, just take it to Fridays. Take it to Fridays. If she don't want to go on Fridays, you got to choose a different bitch. You got exactly. to choose another bitch. Exactly. <laughs> you got to choose another bitch. We got to normalize. Hold on. But what you, nah, this you got to right. But this is what I normalize hate, fucking with bitches. Is that you tried to normalize for women in the last episode that they should not expect that Applebee's is the like, like no nigga she should be appreciative of you spending any dollar out your pocket why because you bust your ass to make that dollar the problem so is she's good you bust you. your ass to make that dollar right but this nigga over here bust that ass to make that hundred dollar bill I don't give so a while you making one hundred dollar bills and you trying Stars. You making a hundred of those I don't, of those I don't dollars. give a fuck what that nigga brought to the table. I'm still that nigga. You are. So the but it's not to her. But it's not to her. You know what you are to her? A broke nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and she going over no, to the no, nigga. No, I'm not going to that. I'm being real. No, no, no. I'm being real. I know you no being real, but I'm still pushing back on that shit. Yeah, of course. Because if you, you can be that, that nigga, nigga to you, then you can make Applebee's a special business. experience. And you can push back all you want, but she's just going to move forward. She's going to move forward. She's going to go to Applebee's. She's going to do the two for 20 with you. She's going to hate you about it. She's going to go home. She's going to text your bitch about how y'all went to Applebee's. Got two for 20. And then she gonna go hit up um Lil Black who run but you who run North Avenue. You know, you know what's crazy you know? though? I'm sorry, bro. The life we in, we said it's hard out here to be a young nigga. No it why? Is. Because you busting your ass to get that one dollar. The nigga ain't doing shit to and get a thousand dollars. Like he sitting at home <laughs> chilling. And you, you figured out a scam, bro. You work hard and shit to get a dollar. You want her to appreciate you when the nigga that's making a thousand dollars ain't asking shit from her. He just said, take here, it. Here. Like. That's See, why but this is also, I also don't like the narrative that if the chick is fine as fuck, is that that's what her expectation level is. I know some bad tens out here that would have never been on a fucking date. Mm. So if you was a table of Applebee's, it would mean so much to her because niggas be doing some other shit. Show me. Show I'm me the sure bitch you talking about. You really want me to? You, would love I, 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 will, I will show you. Show some. me the 10 that would love Applebee's. <laughs> I'm gonna show so, you some ten, so, but it is out there, my nigga. Like the thing it is, is, I is mean, that, but it's like where's wild though? It's like the same thirty little bad bitches that has got a half a million followers, a half a million niggas is running behind. So no, no, no. So, like, like, and y'all ignore the the, the roundaway girls you, that ain't really on the gram like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. You be surprised. Like it ain't always a hundred thousand followers with the check because when I met Shadeas, 
She had like 3,000 followers, I think, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she still be wanting all that shit. So it ain't always the chicks with the hundred thousand followers in the check. It no, comes no, to be what they that, expect. Because but, but respectfully, because, but you know her why? past, her past was with dealing with and a lot of women we deal with a bad bitch be dealing with niggas who with money. But guess and, what? And that's a lot to change up for a woman too. But guess then, what though? That, 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 that chick with a hundred thousand followers with the check, right? She came from somewhere. So it's always a chick with a thousand followers that wanna be up there and she gonna hold you to that standard. So it's the same thing. So at the end of the day, it's just hard as fuck. To be a young man in this society. I'm shit. sorry, you are old nigga, oh, and, you, and you and you see these old ways, yo, yo, but shit changed. I don't know what like he I'm did. Getting, to you. I don't I know what like he did. I feel like I'm I shouldn't have to take right now. Nah. Yeah, this is some fucking bullshit. I'm gonna drink, drink to that. Yo, I'm just, go ahead. I'm just you, saying, you bro, put your drink on. Probably saying these, these these the older chicks, bro, they probably cool, but these young bitches. The bro, older bitch is easier, Jay, and it's not. A I'm not. Bro, no age, this is no old. This is no age. This is no age thing. A older woman has been through so much bullshit trying to be a female that these females are being now and getting no nigga because of it because no nigga and their circus surface of niggadom is a nigga who can take them to Ruth Chris all the time. And now they that the town they get to the age of you know whoever in the room is old. They just gonna be cool with just going out bro, with a nigga. Right, and it's, they cool with a nigga being interested. But you gotta understand, bro. These uh. young niggas nowadays, bro, they living, bro. These niggas is bro. When, like I said, I said it before. When I was in college, my refund check probably got me a couple shoes. Yeah. These niggas refund checks is getting them the, the Cuban links with the motherfucking Ace of Spade every week. The PPP loan, we ain't had none of that shit. So yeah, you gotta understand, shit. times has changed. So that old nigga shit might be cool, but these young bitches is worshiping city girls, Megan Thee Stallion, mm. saying they just they, they just they just getting a check and that's it. Like and that's it's cool. Hard to but be guess a young what? Nigga that society. same nigga that's entertaining that one chick with the gold, he got the Cuban. <laughs> he entertaining. Six of bro, they don't give a he fuck, fucking bro. All of them, oh, no, Jay. Listen to what, listen Jay, to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. At some point, that woman is still that same little girl she was at 15. They want to be loved. They want to have security. They want somebody to, to, to hold their hand in public and oppose them. But so they don't like, have yo, fathers. My nigga. They don't have fathers, right? But they don't most fucking, of them, it does fucking matter. Eventually, the, only... the girl wants to have the but real relationship that, instead of but just But besides dream. that, Jay, bro, what are we talking about? Yeah. She wants to be, she want to be coddled. She wants you to hold her hands and spend, and take long walks at the park. But guess what? You ain't gonna get none of that shit if you don't got what's no going money. to bring her in first. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you ain't got that money, she don't even see none of that. Yeah, she could be one of the girls of like, oh my God, I just want love. It shows that you have opportunity. If you want to really play that role, you could do that. Yo, But yeah. if you don't got the money, you need, listen, you know what, you, you know what's successful? Yo, every woman Jay, has a vulnerable you, moment. Jay, There's a way for you to get in and now, get now in Now you and your R. Kelly shit, cause and you, 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 and you, you taking, you being a predator to these bitches. What I'm telling you is right now, listen, you said every woman has that vulnerable moment. That's foul. What I'm saying is, listen to what I'm telling you right now. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. Preach. Check this out. <laughs> so you know what success is, right? Yes, sir. You know what it takes to be successful. You know the, the yes, old sir. saying? Mm -hmm. Success is when opportunity meets preparation. Correct. Right? If you ain't got the motherfucking bag for these young bitches right now, you ain't got the opportunity. So yeah, the girl could very much so be the girl that want to take long walks in a park. The girl that want love, that want to be all held right. at night. But if you ain't got the opportunity, you ain't got the money. So let's, all right, so let's have a transparent. For most I hear everything you're saying. Most but women. Not all women. Not all of y'all, but most Let's talk most about, all all right, let's talk, let's talk. It's let's a talk, society. Let's, let's, talk, talk, guess, let's guesstimate numbers, <laughs> and then we'll close out on this. Let's guesstimate numbers. Okay. How are, are of, of the, the attractives, the, the eights and ups? How many percentage of them are gonna demand the stuff that you guys are talking so about? So in my and, 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 and of eights and up, I'm only. gonna tell you why. Because my eight and up, I'm being, I'm not, I'm not trying to be political, but mm -hmm. I'm being real. My eight and up, because numbers and ratings are subjective. My eight and up, for the most part, probably, probably more than likely got their own shit together. So I'm gonna say ninety percent of my eight and ups is gonna be requiring me to bring something to the table because they already got their own table. And that's something that niggas gotta realize and be comfortable. Okay, with. so you said that's just real. Oh, hold, hold, stop. So you saying ninety percent stars are you co-signing that? I like what he said as far as my, the eight, the eight and ups or the tens. The, I definitely between eight and tens. Do to they be a ten, you gotta have your own them, table. How many of them the are requiring I like the it? baddest women I ever been with? I look back at them now. They had their own be shit. Famous or models or they had the blue check shit. They had their own shit going. They had their own. So they require more. Sure they require a nigga who meet it. Just go back to the first episode I was on. You feel me? I had I had a baddie. You feel me? As, uh, who was famous? Asked me to meet her in Paris. I ain't the nigga that can pop up in Paris. <laughs> but that's one woman. But no, we said yo most of. But yo. I, I say you trying. So you're trying to tell me that ninety percent of the eights, the tens that y'all have met have all required you to have understand what absorbent we're saying. amounts of money. Understand what Not we're money. saying. Security. Not absorbent. Uh, uh, understand right. what we're saying. For me, 
when it comes to eight and ups, the only way I'm rating you are eight and up if you have your own. Most of the women that I've met that had their own, you damn right require you when, to bring something to the damn table. When you say have your own, you mean what specific? Money, money everything, everything, house, house like car. a home, a roof over your head, even, like, and a every, vehicle, everything. Yeah, that's security and uh, and outfits, obviously. Everything. Okay, so you're trying to tell me that today you couldn't, and, and the only reason why I'm arguing with this today. is today. To, today. Uh, today, I'm talking about in this time period, today. in 2020, 2021, whatever. I've been I've been in a dating pool a lot more than y'all niggas. Y'all been committed and all that, and that's cute. Like I date on yeah, a like consistent basis. I've dated the lawyers. Nice to fuck DPs. bitches. I probably fuck more bitches in, in my ah, in my span when I was ah, lit. There's a difference between bitches that you fucking and women that you're dating. Oh, you got it. You right. Fuck you. Is that there <laughs> are J Ho uh, hands more than us. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations. Are we, are we going to have a do, real conversation? Do you, do you or you're your, just going to be mad because fingers, I'm pushing back Do you put your fingers in between the fingers? <laughs> like this. this nigga is you. If you this nigga, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Hey, yo. I can't listen to no nigga who hold hands like this. Real nigga. No, 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 no. You wrong, because a real nigga is be like, yo, just, just hold on to me. <laughs> what is she, a dog? Nigga, you got a bitch on a leash? Bitch, put your hands in my pocket. No, put your hands in my pocket. He did like this. Yeah, put yeah, it in yeah, my pocket. Yeah. You know how yeah. niggas, niggas, yeah. niggas be out, and niggas don't be like, just put your hand over, over my, over there my. There you go. Let's just put it right there. There you go. Like, that's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? That's a, nigga who, that's a nigga who don't want his yeah. other bitches to see him out with a bitch. That's what that is. Well, go ahead. The point I'm trying to make is, is like outside of the industry that you guys are familiar with, the club and, and music and all that other shit, Yo, there's a ton of regular, super attractive women that got their stuff together that would love to have a dude to just give them attention. Why? Because they get fucking tired of the bullshit in the games. And a lot of these bad chicks be staying at home because they don't want to deal with the bullshit. I don't know. So let's see what we're going to do. Make a comment under this right now. Yes, because please. Like, even the regular chicks that ain't bad, what you want to call them, tins or whatever, even a regular, we we'll say chicks, popular. They're not saying bad. Not, even, all right, all right. So popular. even a, even a regular chicks that you ain't said popular. popular. No, I get it. I can be no, 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 no. I'm not talking not, about popular not, bitches. Not, I'm but just even, talking about no, bad no, bitches. No, even just but, but, but a lot of times watching this ain't. But, the, ain't but a lot of but a lot, lot of times say they not these women. Yeah, but a lot of times and a lot of times let's not let, let's not let's not get it fucked up. Niggas are insecure too. A lot of times niggas is only judging a bitch by how bad they are, by how many followers they got. So I got I'm a society in general. Yeah, I got you. So I'm gonna say a lot of these. That is not fucking society. That's your shit, bro. You keep talking about judging women. Can I, can I say culture? Based on her bro, you, bro, our culture. You in the old nigga world right now. Our culture. Welcome to our world. Fuck that. I got you, stars. He he, he an old I'm nigga. Out here. He yo, old. this shit is over, yo. This shit is ridiculous. Yo, he's an old Who nigga. Who gives a fuck about a bitch? Because Jay, you don't give a fuck because you base your shit off your certain standards. That's why you don't care. I'm sure you don't care what kind of car you drive. You don't care what kind of clothes you have sometimes. I drive a care. better car than all of you niggas. What are you saying, talking about? What is, I'm talking. I mean, I'm you did. About, you just got that car, nigga. Fuck you. Yeah. I've had that shit for over a year, nigga. Full. Kiss my ass. I'm not even talking about. Right, you genuinely know you do not continue, care. Continue, continue, about no, even though, even though, you even though care I don't care about cars, but my shit is still flying in y'all. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Are you a materialistic man? No. No, that's that point. And that's again, all I'm saying. What I, say earlier, I ain't saying I don't even know what you draw. I ain't know if you caught the bus. I, I don't nice, know what you draw. Nice I'm just saying, you, nigga. You know exactly. I'm what just I saying. But, but hold up. But hold up, stars. You, know you don't I'm care saying. about materialistic things in a world, or oh, fuck with women who care about as much materialistic things. You talking about lawyers and shit? Stars. Of course, you don't care what fucking kind of hey, car stars. you got. Shit. Stars. Fuck this. You wouldn't fuck with a lawyer. She's got bread. She's got. Fucking We're in two different worlds. Power. Jay, continue. Hey, We're stars. two different. That's all I'm saying. Because you know what? You're basing your shit off a world that is not industry, bro. You no. Listen, listen. I'm not an industry nigga. Yes, you are. You sitting on a podcast. Anyway, listen. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, right? When I was talking like taking an isolated situation and trying to judge it for the, bro, this nigga just got his car, bro. Before that, he had a truck. He didn't give a fuck about a, like a, he was like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I got it to get me from A to B. Now he's styling, got chains and shit. Nigga, got fucking fuck braces. You, nigga. Nigga. Look, at, look at the braces on his like, fucking nigga arm. got chains. He, he got 30 the braces. With the, with the motherfucking diamonds on his neck. Fuck out of here. Rings. Like, I ain't, look at the rings on his fingers. Right. Maybe we wrong. Maybe you yo, is the materialistic I'm, I'm, I'm nigga. So, I'm so sick of you two niggas. My bad, yo, though. I appreciate I know you turned to a, uh, tuning in to whatever the fuck podcast we watching yeah. now. We don't even know the no name is going to have a name. We have no name. Podcast, we got but a I'm name. sick of these niggas. We got a name. We just but ain't yo, telling nobody right now. Bro, what I was saying is, yo, on, even the regular chicks, right? Even yeah. the regular chicks that ain't popular. I like that. Yeah, because I, like, I don't like regular. If they bring something to the table, mm -hmm. if she is... Any type of chick that got something going for her, she's going to expect you to bring something to the table too. Who period. gives a fuck about what she think, nigga? You are that nigga. You are that nigga. You, you ain't that nigga. Shit. You ain't bringing nothing to the table, my nigga. No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. 
You are doing more than most of these chicks would even dream of, nigga. We t- yeah, I ain't talking about me, though. You, you and you, nigga. Uh, what, so out here in general. this world, who gives a fuck if they got a half million followers? They just standing around with an outfit on. Y'all niggas create shit from nothing. And you don't understand that women admire and want to be with that, nigga. Oh, nah, women, nah, nah. women fucking idolize that Wait, shit. I don't think... But the thing is, they play the game tight because they know that as long as they play the game tight, it'll get you to fucking give more than you have to. The only hey. thing you got to do is press down and these motherfuckers will act right. Ca- ca- Councilman, Councilman J. Um, I'm done, I don't yeah. think we that were. Really aggressive, I'm bro. saying this. Are y'all okay? Now I don't Everybody think. Good? I don't think we were. I don't, I don't I think we myself. were saying that because, like, I feel like we had a pretty good track said, record of who we dealt yeah. with. We just talking about men in general yeah. in today's society. So, like, I said culture and society <laughs> like, twice. And I'm so, gonna like, say for every nigga out here, you motherfucking niggas are the shit. And y'all gotta start acting like you the shit and stop playing into that bullshit that these niggas is talking but Jay, about. A lot that of, shit is dead. But, 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 Bro, I'm sorry. These chicks ain't shit but, without but us. In a re- so, yo, y'all niggas keep playing into the, Just because the bitch is cute don't mean you gotta fucking roll with the shit. If she ain't gonna act right, dump her ass. If she ain't gonna ride with you, dump her ass. If she ain't gonna act right, fuck that bitch. Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't give a fuck. There's gonna be some chicks that's gonna ride. Period. Y'all keep playing up to these stupid ass hoes for what? For fucking what? The pussy. For an Instagram photo? The p- Nigga, the I roll up on a bitch in the club and stand next to her and take the picture and it's done. Fine, y'all. That's definitely Fuck a scary. That shit, that's definitely a scary scenario. You probably shouldn't do that. Hey, but what I'm whatever saying is the fuck, you get the fucking your, your mindset is is a beautiful one, man. Wow, it is. It is. Clap it up for that, real quick. Let me get a clap for that. Yo, I'm wow. so sick and tired of this shit. But I'm gonna done, say this though. Done, I'm, say this I'm done. done with you, my nigga. The bitches I be seeing. And the bitches, I'll be there. They ain't like trying out of that shit. Fuck what you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> that shit sound good. That pussy ain't getting got by you. you that, getting a... And guess what? And 90% of them bitches still single. Yep. Well, well, first of all, 90% shit. of women and, and in guess what? general. When you're not around, they crying and wishing that a nigga would come and be there. Yeah, a nigga with some money. And they got all of these standards. And guess what? It is added up to Jay, nothing. You know nigga. why they single? Because they have standards that they want They didn't let to a be. broke nigga nut in them. They got a baby sitting there and they trying to find a nigga to put something in them. And don't nobody want to put nothing in the bitch. No, nigga. You already lost. Just because you went and got a fake ass and you cute and you got some fake hair in your hand. Why? Why do y'all keep giving them the value? What is she? All right, let me ask you this question. What are they really bringing to the table? Mm. Outside of being fine, are they cooking? I'm going to find out. Are they going to fly you somewhere? I'm going to find yo, out. Yo, yo, if your leg get broken or a fight break out, is they really going to defend it depend, you? It depends how great the first time. Are they going to help you pay your taxes? I are they really going to help? Honestly, you can find that out within the dating a woman, of yeah. course. All I'm saying is, I genuinely like bad bitches. So I love bad, we all love bad I bitches. I want the baddest I can get, but I can get. I'm not gonna, but that's I'm not gonna allow you And to I wanted to cook clean and rub my broke foot. Yeah, Jay, we all want that. <laughs> but we gotta find out if that bitch is that bitch. And we're smart individuals, and we might take an L on a date to find out a bitch ain't shit. I didn't, I didn't say did could, that. I, I didn't say take an L on him. You can take an L on we a take date. L. We, we, but no. I'm not gonna put up with no bullshit. You're Who said we put up with bullshit? I'm just saying, and... a bitch want a nigga with some bread. Hey, and that's a fact. I just wanna say, yo, all I'm gonna say is, bro, I fuck with the conversation, dogs. Mm-hmm. Let's keep this energy moving forward. We really gonna say you really don't want this shit, yo. We really gonna say episode we got one. J- you got just one sweat to this motherfucker. Get the camera on that motherfucker. Yo, this is the pander gang, yo. Go ahead, yo. We really pander. gonna say keep we, pandering. We really gonna say episode one. I'm zero. not involved with this. I don't know. Go zero. Fuck no. Zero feel weird. It's not even. I like zero. But it's already hard enough to get to 10, 20, 30. I ain't about to set myself back. Well, we ain't gonna set ourselves back an extra episode. Crazy. I, I mean, I, I like, I want you honestly, a- I think you should change the part and then just. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. And just keep the number. No, no, I can't do that. Why? Why not? I, I can't. can't do that. Keep, why can't this be seventy? No, 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 no. Because it's not seventy. Episode one. Hey, I just want to say y'all might not like this pod. Episode one. Mm. Shout out to my guys, JS One, a supplier. Shout out to my guy, Stars. I'm in my feelings. What's right up? Now. Yeah, he obviously, you know. Shut up. lawyer bitches, you know, who understands Applebee's is a great Shut thing. Shut the fuck up. Yo, we out, man. <laughs> Episode one, man.